Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I'm Professor Meg with Addicts Games. And this is going to be a playthrough of Rove from Addicts Games. Mm -hmm. If you've been paying enough attention, I actually already have a playthrough on my channel. We did a tutorial kind of, not even a tutorial, it was more of a just general beat em up, smash em up. This mm -hmm, is a mm -hmm. much further along prototype from where we last, stand, last stood, and this is an actual mission. Yes, and our about... original playthrough was with our creator, Monty Eisenbach, who yes. is the designer of the Crimson Scales. Yes, do you want to tell us a bit about what the general high level idea of what we're doing over here is? Yes, so we are playing through a demo copy, please keep in mind all of these components are not final, this is a demo version, uh, but we are going to be playing through the first three scenarios for our demo version. Uh, these are the first three scenarios that we've developed for the game. They're a little bit more complex, they're going to have some narrative points, we're going to have some cards that will instruct us to do different things, uh, and we shall see how we do as two players instead of three. And this is basically a skirmish game, uh, d d not really a skirmish game, more of a dungeon crawler game. Uh, it's going to have narrative, it's going to have campaign, it's going to have character development, it's going mm -hmm. to have classes you're going to be branching into. We're not really going to see a lot of that in this playthrough. This is going to be the first of a series of playthroughs. The rest of them will be able to be found over on Addicts Games channel. I'll link to that down below. Uh, but there'll be a bunch of playthroughs going through some of the content, some of the degrees of adding more cards, of experiencing different adventures and all that. Uh, and then the other note is this is a game that's going to appeal to people who like games like Gloomhaven, like mm -hmm. Madara, like Oathsworn, mm -hmm. that kind of genre of game. That's the, the main goal here. You're going to have characters with a lot of depth, a lot of variety, mm -hmm. a lot of leveling up and changing how they work. Uh, a lot of enemies, monsters, you're going to be dealing with and a progressive system of campaign, well, a progressive campaign that you'll be going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with that, we're going to go ahead and start this off, unless anything else we need to cover. Uh, no, I think we're good to go. Okay. I, we're going to let Alex do reading some of our flavor text. <laughs> we will be working with foretellers, so when this is a final game, you'll have it all narrated for you if that's something you'd like. But we're going to have the rendition by Mr. Board Game Co. himself. What is this number in the top corner here? Uh, it's 15 turns. 15 turns? Oh. Okay. Yeah, cool. we're on a time clock. I, I see. I thought that might be over here. This number over here. I thought that might be like fifteen minutes, and I was like, I think this is gonna be more <laughs> no, than fifteen no. minutes. Energy in search, in search of the Yenchov. Energy is quite a volatile thing. It must be expressed no matter what. Fire will consume. Water will connect. Earth will persevere. Air will move. Numan will manifest, and Kuthun will shape. We can direct these expressions, but we cannot fundamentally change them. It certainly can fundamentally, fundamentally change us, though. Tifa are the most prominent example of this. Kuthon is intrinsic to the Tifer. It runs through the bodies as surely as blood runs through humans or Raksa. If anybody had the capacity to change the nature of Kuthonic expression, it would be the Tifer. But even then, the Kuthun will not be denied its one and only purpose. Kuthun will shape. Silky of the Mist. Without warning, Makal's Arakin begins snarling and snorting after passing by a bunch of bramble. It draws its gaze up and emits a deep, rumbling growl aimed at the tree line. Woha! Easy, my dear grandpa. Apologies, rovers. It seems like he's unwilling to bite off more than we can chew without your intervention, he explains, rubbing his hand through the Arkansas' bristling fur. Mo extends a few of their tentacles to assist with calming him. He has an excellent nose for trouble. Let us stay behind for now. I look forward to seeing all that you can do, rovers. As if on cue, the sudden clattering of galloper wings and claws echoed from behind the trees that drew grandpa's ire. Even a single galloper would prove a difficult fight for a small party. A swarm of them smells disaster for any unguarded traveler. Assuming that the T4 man was not the only clan member to take flight from their home, then chances are the usual hunting parties have been too preoccupied to deal with threats like this. Warming up by culling whatever nesting creatures have possibly, possibly been neglected in the wake of the unnamed foe will benefit everyone in equal measure. Your main burden as rovers is always in service to taming the world around, the world around you, and endlessly in need of taming is the ever-burgeoning population of Galloper in every corner of Curse. When Gallopers are left to ascend to the local food chain, they are inevitably followed by larger and yet worse threats than themselves. A hopeless cycle of depravity that spoils any chance for peaceable living for a clan. Okay, can I go ahead and read the uh, conditions and all those things? Uh, and before we get to that, uh, Alex, if you want to show the top down, dun, dun. that was Moe and McCall that we heard talking, and they are the characters on the cover. So this is Moe and McCall, and is this is grandpa? the creature that they're talking about. That's Grandpa. Grandpa! Grandpa's Adorable, pretty large. right? Yeah. He is. Cool. Okay. All right, so, and as you guys can see, this is what Alex was reading from. Here is our initial setup, which we have already have on the board for you. One thing to note is that these enemies will be on standees, but we have them flat just so you guys can kind of follow along a bit easier. Um, and it also shows you how many to spawn depending on the number of players. So, our win conditions. Head north to the river and kill Zapudi, the Briarwog, within 10 turns to complete the encounter. So that's why we have, that's like our okay. encounter objective. Within 15 turns. Yes. Yeah. Lose conditions. If there are more than 15 turns pass or all ro rovers are downed, the encounter is lost. Special encounter rules. Nectari Hive is a treasure obstacle in I6 and has R times 2 health, which is rovers times the number of 2, so okay. two, or 4. Where is that obstacle? 
Um, it would be an I6, I which six. is right okay, down cool. here. Down there. That okay. moved a little bit. Um, and then Codex. The first time a rover enters a space in column 11 or further, read 1.1. So we have these Codex cards, Codex cards that you'll be uh, reading, that that's our first trigger. Um, the first time a Grove Tender is killed, read 1.2. This is our only Grove Tender because we're only two players. And if the Nectari Hive is destroyed, read 1.3, which is this one down here which is the four health. So that's already an interesting system of iteration, meaning effectively there's a degree of things that will be changing in the game state, but there are multiple aspects. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then I feel like I had a question that I already forgot. Oh, we have a round tracker. So we have yes. a round tracker up there. We're going to need a token for that. I know. That's what I was just thinking. That's the one thing I might not have out. If you want to grab any one of the number tokens, yeah, throw it down there. I might just put a number on there. What yeah. I think I might do, since the thing has four health for us. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put a four here for us to remember that, and then we can use this as our okay. round tracker. Sounds good. Okay. It is a great token. I just don't know where she went. Somewhere in the piles. Yeah. Anyways, and with that, let's go ahead and start us off. Okay, now, so as far as, we'll walk you through the turn structure as we go mm -hmm. through this. I have played this. It's been a while, so I'm going to mostly rely on uh, asking my questions, like the conditions and the statuses and all those things. But to that end, uh, we're going to go ahead. What's the turn order here? Do we choose a turn order? Uh, so rovers go first, we get to choose the turn order, and then the monsters will activate. Okay, great. And so the monsters are going to activate using this system over here. So you have these little overwhelming at first, but each monster you'll see has their own columns. Columns are going to... We'll go through the monsters, how they activate, when it's the monster's turn. But effectively, we can kind of see the potential things they're going to do, but we don't know which things. So for example, right here, this Briarwog over here is going to do one of these eight things. Which of those eight things will depend will depend on what gets drawn? We have some degree of possible foreknowledge, and once you learn the monsters a bit more, it gets a little easier but we'll deal with that when the monster's turn go. In the meantime, we're going to be choosing cards over here. And the way these cards work is they're going to flip when you resolve them. So you have different cards over here. We have React, Rally, and then we have Rave. one more, Rave or something. Yes, Rave, yes. And on our turn, we can take actions, basic actions from our own abilities. We can take one of the top two circle actions, one of the top two, um, or is it, wait, is it one and one or two one and two? One circle, one square. One circle and one square is what we can do over here. And then you also get to play one Rave or Rally card, as well as one React card. React cards, though, are more conditional. They are specific to things happening in the game state. So that, that's the basic sequence of play. And let's with that, let's go ahead and go through it. So I start with three of the, what is the currency we have, the economy of the game? Uh, that's your SP. So there is a few currencies in the game. Mm -hmm. There's gold that you'll end up winning for different things, yeah. but you are using SP to charge up your attacks. So okay. a little bit to explain what Alex was saying, uh, a rally card will gain you SP and rave cards will spend them. So you're kind of building up toward bigger attacks and then using them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the problem is I'm trying to deal with these enemies here and they go after us, but yeah. I am not close enough to them to actually do anything. So it might be a bit of a more of a guarded turn right now. Yeah, I think I'm also going to play it a bit safe. Um, yeah. And I think I might I might try to head down toward this hive. Okay. You're going to head down to the hive? Yes. I think I'm going to I'm gonna, I think I'm going to stay still right now. Now, one thing that uh, I didn't have us do at the beginning, Alex, is mm -hmm. you do have that flip ability. When you start the game, you can have whatever yep. orientation you want facing you. Um, so I'm going to have mine face this way. I was looking at the other way before, but that's all my more expensive attacks. Um, so I will be playing with them this way. Yeah, and on my end, I did kind of choose one or two specifically, and the rest just went randomly. So to that end, I'm going to go ahead and I will, I'm ready to go whenever we are. Uh, I am also ready. So I'm going to go ahead and do the following. I'm going to start with a brace action over here where I'm going to brace, and that's going to be uh, the ability that's resist, not brace. Resist is going to give me a resist token if we want to grab one of those. Mm, do you have, I have them? One. Yep. Okay. Uh, resist is going to allow us to effectively, when you gain resist, you're going to remove a negative status effect, which is not relevant right now because mm -hmm. I don't have any. But before you would next gain a stat and pause the status effect, I recover damage and remove resist. Mm -hmm. So it's prepping myself for the future, although maybe I shouldn't. It is an extra heal. I mean, yeah. I would use the movement. Yeah, I'm going to use the movement actually. Yeah. I, I was hoping for more out of that. I'm going to use the movement to go one, two, three. Movement's going to be orthogonally over there, so I'm hoping to not be within range of them. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping they'll close the gap to me while I still am making my way towards the hive and one of the things we're trying to do. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and use nit Nitsune over here because I can't really do an attack, unfortunately. My attacks are range three, and that's not enough. I guess I could go... I could end over here, can't I? Yep. One, two, three. I'm going to end over here because then I actually could do an attack. So I'm going to go ahead, and from there, I'm going to go ahead and do a, an attack action, a ranged attack action with my striped bow over here, my strip bow, which is going to be an attack action utilizing my weapon and doing three damage, and it's going to be a ranged piercing attack. 
So range is the range 3, which is my bow, and the piercing is going to be the type of damage, and in this case we're fighting against the Galloper. Does the, do they have vulnerability to piercing? I don't believe not they piercing, do. Not piercing, no. No, they do not. Um, And just something else to show you guys, we'll get to it when it happens, mm -hmm. but for Alex to kind of determine what they might be doing, we have these different columns that are different uh, conditions. So for the Galipers particularly, if this element is in play, if there's one or less, it would be one of these attacks, but if there are two or more, it would be one of these. And I, you know, there's not gonna be a two in play round yeah. one, so you can kind of bank on them doing one of these attacks. In other words, they're gonna hurt me because they move three or four almost no matter what. Yes. Yeah, we'll figure that out. In the meantime <laughs> though, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a modifier from this bag over they're here. They're Galipers, so they leap over at you. And we just drew a zero. Now these stay out of the bag, correct? Yes. Okay, so we drew a zero over here. That's going to be done, which means I do a three damage attack against the Gleeper. So it's going to be three damage, where which we'll track using some damage tokens, if you want to go ahead and put it down. And that will be, we're going to be using the Gleeper, is going to be the top board over there. Yes. So, and that one's and number two. Okay. So it's going to be three damage on oh. number two of the Gleeper over there. That is the These first so action. Tiny. Now I still have my cards to go through over here, and this is where I can choose different cards. Oh, one second. I probably should have done... How much health do they I might, have? You know, I might move these down on us, Alex. Sure, sure. How much health do they have? Eight. They have eight health. So I could... I'm just looking at a few options here. And are they vulnerable? They're not vulnerable to that either, so that won't help. Okay. And was, that one's going to be slow. Interesting. Slow might help because they could do... They're not range. It's range one, two. Mm. You know what? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and... I'm going to slightly adjust one of these cards over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this card during my attack. So during my attack, I'm going to add a damage type, which won't have an effect in this case because they're not vulnerable to that damage type. But what it will do is I'm going to add that to their attack. So basically, I'm going to add slow, which mm -hmm. is going to subtract two points from their next movement. Yes. Okay, which is going to potentially make it so that they have a harder time attacking which me. Which I believe you have the yep. slows. And we'll keep put it on him if we want. Up to you. Sure, Okay. We can. So he's going to have slow right now, which means he's moving two fewer, which means if he moves three, he'll only move one and be unable to attack me, which should help. That's going to then also, I'm going to gain one SP. So I'm going to rotate this dial over here. And then I will also, nothing will happen here because I don't have that element to play. Mm -hmm. We're going to flip the card and that's my turn. Lovely. Okay. To your turn, Meg. I am going to play a re- well, I'm going to do a few things, but I guess it doesn't really matter the order because I'm not attacking anything this turn. Uh, so I can play my card first. I'm going to play Reinforce, which is a rally. I'm going to shield myself for one, um, which I believe you might also have the shields. I do yes. have the shields. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here yep. we go. Um, and then uh, this element is not in play, so I won't get that, but I'm going to gain an SP. I'm basically just trying to gain SP and get a bit closer to you guys. Um, and I'm going to kind of try to go for this hive because I feel like that's important. Yep. Um, so I will do that. I will flip the card after using that ability. I will use Skitter to move four. One, two, three, four. I'm just staying away from everything, even though I'm the melee character. Um, and yeah, I'll do preservation. So I think, I'm so sorry, we have opposite tokens, but can I have one of the blue charge tokens? Sure, absolutely. So preservation says, place one charge token here before you are attacked, remove the charge token, and gain plus two shield for that attack, limit of one charge token placed here. So I can kind of hold on to that for a plus two shield. Okay. Very and good. And that is my turn. So it's now going to be their turn. Now it's the so enemies. So we now have to go ahead and draw their tokens in the bag. Yes. So this is where we're going to draw tokens for each of the enemies and assign it to a column. You're going to draw an A, B, C, or D. And I think there's mm -hmm. only one D? Yes. I think so, yeah. Yep. So, so it's one, one it's D. one, two, means, three, and four. Yeah. And we're going to, oh, let's go ahead and put them down. Okay. Okay. So the so, first column we have, if no, if that or less ele elements. So we're drawing for the first one. So for the Gleeper, it's going to be this one. Okay. Uh, so I believe we draw them all. Do we want to put it on activate. the serrated limbs? What? what? Do we want to put it on the ability? We can. Okay. That's going to be, okay. That's three. That's one. Wait, what am I missing? That's the orange one. It's one and two so that you don't use the same ability uh, multiple turns in a row. Okay. So it's just for you to keep track. But you'll see they'll be colored. Oh, so it's color based. Okay, yes. cool. Okay. So for the Grove Tender, it's the same one. Okay. Uh, what is theirs? If, if there are no target within range three. Yep. Yep, there and none. there is not. Okay. Okay. And then for the Briar Wog, it will be blue. Okay. And it's, uh, I keep going for the first ability, but if there's no target within range two, which yep. is also that. All right. Okay. That's the enemies. Now we're going to resolve them one at a time. We move left to right, I assume? Yes. Okay. So the pincer man 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 manter is going to move one. Well, they're going to move oh, three. Oh, oh this one's one. only going to yes. move one. Okay. So this one will move one. And then well, we stop should, should, there. We, should we resolve them? Numbers? Let's do resolve one to, one to the top. Sure, sure, sure. 
One. So one, two, three. Okay. Toward you. And then it's going to attack with a range one, which will not have any effect. Absolutely. And then this one will only move one. Which means it will also attack with a range one, which will also have no effect. It was a very attack. strategic play out. Yes. That was a 50-50 chance of not taking damage from them. And they <laughs> it was hurt, on so. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we're going to move to the next one. We're going to move to the Grove Tender. Grove Tender. Okay. Also, we have to note their traits over there. The Gleepus have flight, which is going to help them at times. And the Grove Tenders have, before death, perform a... Uh, what's it called? A channel uh, tar targeting all allies within six. Wow. Yeah. They, so they really like to boost their allies. This is going to be all within range six in yeah. attack as well. Okay. So in the meantime, he's going to go ahead and do his other ability, which is he's going to weaken Both all us, enemies within six. I believe. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay. Both of us. I believe you have weak. No, I have weak. Here's a weak. So you can have one and I'll Thanks. take one. Yeah, you're welcome. Totally. Happy to help. <laughs> so the weaken's going to effectively mean that our next attacks will deal one less damage, then you'll move weaken. Mm -hmm. uh, then he's going to, if no water, channel water. So we need an element there. All right. Water is okay. going to go into play. So the element's going to start at the top over there, and it's going to push other elements around the board as you go. And eventually, if there's no space, they'll move out. I believe as a two-player game, we have four elements in play. Yes. Yep. So uh, that's going to be that. And then we move to the next one. So he's not moving at all. Interesting. Correct. Okay, we move to the uh, Briarwark. The Briarwark is going to go ahead and perform a jump to... And sorry, can you read his tree? I can't from this far away. This one up there? Enemies adjacent, adjacent to, to the Briarwark, Briarwark suffer one, one damage <laughs> after attacking it. <laughs> so yeah. that's the other. Well, you said you can't read it. So I, I know, it. I know, and then I did it anyway. Okay. Um, so he's going to jump to... Yep. And then he's going Still to attack with no range oh, yeah. two. Uh, no, no, it's one, orthogonal. Two, one, two. Yeah, he cannot reach me. We are fine. Beautiful. And what's that last symbol over there? That's pull? Yes, it okay. would pull after. Perfect. So it would pull them closer. It's a tongue, tongue clock, clock, so he's bringing you in. Well, that's just it. <laughs> that's the first round. Time for the second round, which means we go ahead and continue the cycle of trying not to die. All right. And at the end of the round, we will put that chip modifier back in the back. Yeah, okay. The enemies did not attack us, so we don't have to do anything with theirs yet. Okay. Okay. Next card selection. All right. Dun, dun, dun. We can we can swap who goes first every round, right? Yes. Okay. And I probably should have been paying attention to my reacts here. I should probably do that. Okay, that's going to be one react over here. That's not really relevant. That's not really relevant. Okay. So, we have some options over here as far as our reacts, which we'll deal with them later. But, hmm. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think I could do that if I wanted to, which is not the worst. I need I need some elements. How do I get some elements in play? Oh, Meg, one question over here. Mm -hmm. So over here, this is the element that's generated. It will go and play. Yep. Okay, so in that case, I probably should look at what card I played already. What card did I play last turn? I played this one over here, which did not generate an element. Okay, fine, fine, fine. That would have potentially changed how I handle this, but we'll deal with that for right now. Sorry. Um, no, no, it's all good, it's all good. I'm going to try to deal with running away from people. Is that okay? That seems reasonable, right? Yeah, sure. I okay. mean, yeah. So, um, I'm We do gonna... want to kill some of them, so keep in mind the three things that we want to do is uh, enter the sp A space in column 11, yep. kill the Grove Tender, yep, yep. so we do want to kill him, and this Nectari Hive. Okay. Which I may do this turn. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and hurt people. Hurt people, hurt people. We're going to do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and play this this card over here, Meg. So, I'm going to do Invigorate. And I'm going to go ahead and Strengthen myself. We're going to grab one of those. If you want to grab the Strengthen, the Strong. Okay, so it's going to be one Strength over here. I also have the Weak over here. Which Does that negate the two? Does Strong negate the Weak? I believe these these negate each other. It doesn't say to take them off, but yeah, they will negate each okay. other. So we'll negate that, okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to gain one. Gain one more SP for that. Okay. And then I'm going to generate an element. So, Meg, if you want to generate that purple element there. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, sorry. We're actually in round two as well. Round two. Okay. Great. Oh, actually, I see it now. This is our. This Perfect. is the correct round tracker. Excellent. So I will put this back here. I actually like but that I will... the four there, honestly. <laughs> you like the four? Yeah. I might just keep it here okay. for us to know. Sounds good. Uh, then we're going to go ahead. So I played that. I put this card. I'm going to rotate the card in my hand. We'll put that away. That cost me no SP to do. And then I'm going to do an action. No, wait. Did you also gain SP from that? Yes. Yep. And you did do it? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. I, did. I didn't see it. Okay. Yet. Then I'm going to go ahead and take an attack action. Follow probably... Oh, interesting. Interesting. I could have done that. No, but I think I want to move. I think I want to move... 
Yeah, because I'm worried about these people over here. So we're going to go ahead and do a move action. So I'm going to do a move, and I'm going to, well, it's attack first. So I'm going to do an attack action against this guy over here. So I'm going to attack him. That will be three damage. So we're doing a three damage attack with a modifier. And again, same, same issue. No weaknesses, but that is what it is. We do plus zero. So that's going to be, again, three damage. Oh, uh, to number one? Number one this time. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to run three, going one, two, three. Okay. Beautiful. That's going to be right next to That's that guy. That's where you want to be? That's where I want to be. Okay. Does that bother So that way I'm more in melee with those guys? Potentially. Well, let's see. They, those guys move up to four, it looks like. One, two, three. Yeah, I definitely... Yeah, yeah, that's you. You you can take that. You. <laughs> yeah. It's a team game. Team game. Uh, okay, and now it's my turn? Yes. All right. Um... I wish I could kill one of these Galeepers, but I'm not going to be able to do it quite yet. I guess if you're heading this way, do you want to take care of the hive if you prefer, and I'll start killing? I could... I don't mind killing. Okay, cool. I yeah. got shields. Don't worry. I'll I'm, take care I'm of the hive. fine. Okay. I just want to decide what we're doing. Yep. Okay. So I will move four. One, two, three, four up to this Galeeper. Okay. And then I'm going to play Brutal Bash, which is a rave. It says during your next weapon attack, uh, if you're using a sword, add plus one damage. If you're using an axe, we will add a uh, weak to them. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing because I am using an axe. And then I could use an SP to ignore shield, which they don't have. I could spend two SP, though, to add Rupture. Uh, which says, after any movement or forced action where you entered one or more spaces, suffer two damage and remove rupture. Ugh. Do I want to spend two of my SP to do that, though? I think I would rather... Also keep in mind that right now the enemy you're doing it against might not move, which is the tricky part. That's fair. Yeah, I guess I will hold on to my all of my SP. So I will flip that over, uh, which will give me this fun rave card for next turn. Uh, and I will strike for three. So I do have weak, so I'm only striking for two. Yeah. Do you want to draw a chip Oh, for I us? should remove off my weak as well. And you could have your strong. Okay, we draw a chip. And the chip's going to be a minus one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm attacking for one damage to this It does guy. seem like what you're doing. All right. Do you have a weapon uh, type? What's your damage type? Uh, it's crushing. Which is, looks like plus one. Oh, actually. Wow. Okay. Okay. Plus one Lovely. against the Gleepers. They get cru plus one against them. Okay. So he is now at five. Okay. Out of eight. We have time. We got time. We got time. Uh, and that was my... I use move, attack, my card. That's everything I got. Okay. If I ever need to, I can also... I ha we both have the same item. It's powdered drink. Drakian, uh, we can heal for two within range one, so we can heal a little bit when we need it. So they can, I don't mind them attacking me. Did I just turn my entire hand around? I just turn my entire hand around. I need to be careful with that. Be very okay. careful. <laughs> okay. That's the round. That's not round. That's our turns. We are going to go ahead and draw for the enemy turns right now. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. So our Galeeper is, uh, there is still none of that element in play, so yep. it's going to take this one. Okay. The Grove Tender will be doing a blue attack. Okay. And the Briar Wog will be doing a green attack. The Grove Tender does have an enemy within three, so we have to shift it around oh, to the other sorry. one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I keep putting it at the first yep. one, but I should I should read it first. And if no enemy within two, and so that's same same issue with this guy. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. And so that's going to be their attacks, which means it's time for them to go ahead and starting with the Gleepers. Same plan as before, activating with the one first. Okay, so he will go, I guess, I mean, it doesn't matter which way he would go. I think that's up to us. Okay. Um, yes, it's so up to us if it's one, not. two, three. Okay. Um, and then he will perform a technique attack, range one, to do two damage, and I believe he's going to rupture me. Mm. Um, I will use my, I do have one defense. I believe... I have to use all of it at once, so I will. So I'll defend against the entire attack, okay. which is nice, but I will still gain rupture if I can have a rupture okay. so token. So just try not to move. I mean, I'm still at full health. I'm not too yep. worried yet. Well, there's ways um, to get rid of the token if we want, so if you just don't move, that would uh, we can resist the token. And then now they will be putting uh, this element into play. Oh, okay. sorry. When you put this into play, it should have gone yes. like that as well. Yep. Okay. All right. And now... The second one will attack, um, and he is going to not move. He's also weakened, I believe, mm -hmm. okay. uh, which is great for me. So he's going to attack for... Oh, you know, we had him attack for two, but I didn't draw a chip. We should do that. Goodness. It might not have done anything. It's possible. I mean, it would have done it's something. It's probably something. There's a negative two in there, isn't there? No. There's not a negative two in there. <laughs> so, Plus zero. zero. So we're fine. Right. Well, would you keep that out for the rest of the Yes, enemies? you're right. You're right. Okay. Ah. 
strings started coming out of the bag, and that's what got me distracted. Okay. But that's not our problem right now. So, next enemy. That's to me. Both the Gleepers attacked you? I didn't do this one. We, we were Gleeper. pulling the, ch the thing for this one. So he's weakened. He's yes. attacking for two, plus one, but minus, also minus one, one, so two. Okay. Um, so I will take the two damage from that. Are you still... You're ruptured. No, okay, okay. I am ruptured. Uh, okay. And I cannot be double ruptured, thank goodness. Um, and But he will also put this element into play. Okay. And now our elements are full. And see, so now next no, turn, they do go have ahead and do more. that. Yep. Okay. All now right. it's up to the uh, Grove Tender. Grove Tender is going to go ahead and move two, and then it's going to target you for four damage. So, oh, interesting. We, we actually get lucky here. So, this is difficult terrain. Are they affected by difficult terrain as well, I yes. assume? Okay. So, in that case, it looks like they'll move two, but be... Oh, it's still range two. They can still hit you. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and four, two, and then hit you for range two attack for four, four damage. All right. Okay. Let's see. And we draw a plus, plus one. one. So, five, five damage. Not bad. Um, You know, I also should have looked at my react yes. cards. Um. But yeah, there's not, it's fine. There's nothing I could have done. Okay, okay, so he's attacking for four? Yes, he is. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's his attack. And lastly, we have the Briarog. Briarog is going to go ahead and is going to attack. I believe it's going to attack me. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to go ahead and do three damage attack to me. So, and slow you down. Oh, that's going to be, that's within range. So it could, yes. Yep. Okay. So there's going to be two types of range. There's going to be within within reach, and then there's range. Range cannot be adjacent. This is reach, which could be adjacent. And so he's going to go ahead and slow me down. So if we want to put a slow token on me, that's going to be fun over there. And then it's also going to deal a three damage attack if we want to draw from the bag. Wrong bag. Okay. And we are drawing a <laughs> three. Why couldn't I have gotten any of the minus ones? So I will take three damage, dropping down to... Oh, actually, one second. What, I'm sorry. Do I have to... Ah. Uh, do you mind if I do this sure. because of react? Go for okay, it. so I'm gonna play this react thick pelt. That's gonna cost me nothing. Before <laughs> you're attacked, gain plus one, and I'm gonna gain plus two because we have that element in play. Yeah. So this card is gonna flip, and then I'm going to go ahead and take one damage. Now, strictly speaking, that should be before the attack, but I had meant to do that. I was saving that. We'll let you do it. Yeah, well, no cheating. No cheating. Okay. Okay. And that's the end of the phase, so we're gonna put the chips back into the bag. Yep. Yeah. And you can put our, our okay. chips back into yes, the bag. Yes, indeed. As well. Thank you. Okay. And now we are back at the top of the turn. Okay, top so of the round. I want to do. Round three. I want to do some bad Remember things. Remember, we're also on the time clock. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I want to do some bad things, to people. The problem is, I have a ranged attack, where oh my, hmm, my attack. Uh, I can do this this turn. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Watch what I do. Watch what I do. So ready? So we do. What we what do we want to kill more? Do we want to kill the Briarwog who has ten health, or the Groves who has fourteen? The Grove Tender we're trying to kill. Yeah, but the Briarwogs just had We want to kill them all. We want to kill them all. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do a move action, Meg. So I'm going to do bound over here. And I, because I have the slow, it's going to limit my move action. So I am going to go ahead and unfortunately going to pop only one instead. Mm -hmm. That's essential in order to be able to attack anyone. Then I'm going to do, go ahead and do ambush on the Briarwog. So I'm going to hit the Briarwog for a three damage attack. We're Rabbit. going to reach into this bag over here. And that's going to be... Minus one. Jeez, why why do we have this kind of luck, Meg? <laughs> why do we have this kind of luck? Great, that's going to be two damage to the Briarwark. Okay, can you go ahead and hit the Briarwark oh, for two sorry. damage? I was so mesmerized. Now we're going to use the Briarwark going to be up here. We're going to be using them. The Grove Tender is going to be down here, and the Briarwark is going to be up here. So it's one on one side and three on the other, so just be careful to put them on the Gotcha, ones. okay. So we're going to put the Briarwark, which is number one, is going to be over here. Okay. We need better tokens here. Great. Okay. And then lastly, for my card, I'm going to do the Bell's Toll. Okay. That's going to cost me one, but I can pay to add two more targets. So I'm going to pay three. Okay. So I'm going to pay three SP, going down to two SP remaining. But I'm going to choose damaged enemies within five reach and suffer two damage each. So I'm paying all three of these to do three damage, wow. two damage each. To do so two damage? So I'm going to damage? flip one of these two or three, and you can do the same to two ones over there. Wow. Okay. Just make sure to flip the ones. Okay. And that one's already at three. So you're doing yep. how much damage? Uh, two oh, damage? Two damage each, yep. Okay. Okay. And then if you want to add a, because we have that purple element to play, if you want to add a negative one modifier to the bag. Okay. So this is uh, something to show you guys. Their chips have all gone back into their bag so I can show you, but we all have these gold ones. Now what's going to happen when you do these is we're going to add a gray one instead. When it gets pulled, it doesn't go back in the bag. Okay. And it was a negative one? Negative one. Okay. Okay. Negative one, gray one. And then I'm going to flip my card because that's the rules. And then your turn, Mike. <laughs> because that's the rules. Them's bees the rules. 
Okay, I am going to use strike on the healthiest Galeeper. So I will strike on this one. Um, I am ruptured and it's just going to happen, but we're going to let it happen. So we're going to strike him. Uh, it's going to be plus one damage because I'm using my axe. Uh, you have... Oh, excuse me. You have our chips. Can you draw one yep. for me? Okay. I'm attacking for Who four. Are Who are you attacking? This one. Okay. It's going to be plus zero. So for four. So. Oh. Um, I have to kill him? Yes. He'll be at nine. And then he's a eight health creature. All right. So he's dead. Off okay. Off the board. Now I might react to that. I might use, choose to react. Give me one okay. second here. Because I have a few different possible reacts. I could do... react to that. <laughs> well, well, let's see, let's see. We have two different reacts on the other side of this. That's not bad as well. And that one is... I do want to get that backed. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and react. I'm going to play Hollow Dirge over here. After an enemy dies within range 3, which definitely happens. So this character is dying, right? Mm -hmm. Does he drop gold? No. No, okay. So we're going to go ahead and weaken an enemy within 5. So we're going to weaken somebody within 5. And I guess we'll weaken this guy because he's annoying. Sure. Okay. And then we're going to gain one. And if I have those elements in play, I gain another one. So I'm going to gain two SP. Lovely. Okay. And then flip the card. Your turn. Back All to right. your turn. Uh, I'm going to use Skitter to move four. I'm actually only going to move two to here to kind of set myself up for an attack. Okay. Uh, but I am ruptured, so I will remove my rupture. But I'm going to bleed out a little bit and lose two health. Um, I might now use my potion to uh, just not take that damage, basically. Um, because it would also heal me for two. Okay. So I will do that. And then I'm going to use Strange Chatter. Uh, so this is a rave. It's a technique attack. Um, and I'm going to target this whole box, which is going to hit both of them. So I'm attacking them both for one, uh, and it will weaken both of them. So can we have, I believe you have the weaken tokens? Oh, okay. he's already weakened. Yeah. Okay. So. Is this the best to do? I'm still going to I mean, I could have anyway. weakened, if we knew you we were going to do that, I could have weakened this guy. Yeah, do that. Okay. Because I have five. Okay. Wait. So can you put weak on both of them? Yes, I can. And then the only other thing I want to note is uh, because the dark element is in play, uh, it's going to be an uh, anima type of attack. Yes, it will. Um, which will, I believe, affect... Oh, no. Neither it would have attacked the Briarwog. The Briarwog is one that hits. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, so it's going to attack for one. Now this is for the whole attack. So plus one. So they nice. both take two. That's one damage attack? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was only one damage attack. So this guy's at three, four, five, six, seven. So it's actually going to kill the other Galeeper. Nice. So the weakened is wasted. Wasted weakened. And two damage will go on the Grove Tender. Okay. Which is this our first time hurting him, or do you have the uh, Grove Tender? The Grove Tender is going to be the bottom one over there. I was going to say the Briarwog's the only one that's been Briar hit. Briarwog's, yeah. Gosh, this Grove Tender is so healthy. This is what it is. That's okay. And I'll remove this because he's gone now. Okay. All right, and then uh, finally, I will remember to flip my card. And that's the round. Wow, we took out both of the Galeepers before they got to use the double element. That's nice. I'm pretty proud of that's us. Good. That was that was good planning. Okay. Did we know Perfect we were doing planning. that? Yes, absolutely. We knew we'd do that. <laughs> Your turn. All right. So the Grove Tender is going to do a red attack. Uh, so there are targets within range three for sure. Yes, there are. Both of them are doing the second column right now. Yeah. And the yellow. Okay. All right. So the Grove Tender will go first. Uh, they will spring forth because they're attacking within range one. So I think he'll just jump down to here. Mm -hmm. um, and he is going to do a technique attack for five damage. He is weakened, That's but uh, he's attacking me for five. Let's see if we finally draw that negative one. Yeah, maybe. Nope. nope. So four damage at least. And now this is gone from him. Okay. Okay. Four damage to me. I'm down to six. What happens if we die? Then we die. Then we die. Then we try again. Right? I believe so, obviously. Um, okay. And then uh, if no grass element is in play, he will put it in. So water is now gone off the board. Okay. All right, and now the Briarwog, he's going to roll out. So he's going to do a technique attack toward Probably me. towards you. Um, for three damage. Mm -hmm. But then he's going to retreat by three. He's also weak. Okay, finally. So he's only doing one damage because he was weakened as well. Okay. The weakened comes Oof. off. It's one damage to you. All right. Do you have heal? You have heal. You should use heal. 
I shouldn't. I feel you like you forgot I shouldn't. that you have I heal? didn't forget. I just wanted to move. I wanted to attack. Well, you should. It's uh, just how I move, play. Move, 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 just like that. Um, and then heal over retreat three, which because of the way this terrain is, I think his best way to retreat would be this way. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. We'll have him go one, two, three away from us. Okay. All right. Great. Top of the round. I guess I'll heal. I don't want to. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have a few options over here. Hmm. I'm ready when you are. I am not quite ready. Well, do you want me to go first? Because we don't have if to. If you want to, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, we just choose. Um, so I am going to use Fire Orm Oil. Uh, so during my weapon attack, I can add uh, Anima to the attack, and then I can gain one SP. So I will gain an SP. I'm now at five. Um, okay. And he is weak to this, which is great. So I'm going to do my weapon attack for three, so actually four toward him. Uh, do you want to draw from our bag? Yep. Four damage. That was towards the Briar War, right? Uh, the no, Grove Tender. The, the Grove Tender. Okay. And then I will heal myself for two. Gotcha. So, I have a few options I can do. Um, I could... Do you have any negative conditions? No. No. Not, not yet. Not yet's good. Not yet's good. Um... I could do that. Recover two damage is recover two damage is healing, right? Oh, sorry. And I also put the fire element into play. Okay. And sorry, what did you ask? Recover two damage is effectively healing. Yes. Okay. So I could try to go ahead and do some positive things in general, but I don't know if I care enough on this situation. Before you're that, after an enemy dies, with any turns ends and an enemy is adjacent to you. Oh, I could do that. That's actually not the worst, but it's intriguing. Okay, so I could do that and then that, which would be intriguing, but there's, ah, there's none of the elements I need in play. You push an element to play. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do Passing Nell. So we're going to do Passing Nell, which is going to be adding that to my attack. So we be adding that particular type to my attack and slow. And we're going to do an attack against the uh, Briarwog, who's victim to that particular element. So mm -hmm. we're doing a ranged attack against the Briarwog, which means we're going to go ahead and draw a token. And we drew a plus zero. But we still have plus one, so it's going to be a four damage attack against the Briarwog. There is no water in play right now. That's okay, not this. Oh, Just sorry. I saw you pointing there. No, no. Four damage against the Briarwog. Okay. Oh, plus one from the element. Yes. I see, I see. And adding slow to him. Do you have the Briarwog? Uh, the Briarwog's going to be up there, so I need I need four, yes. Okay. Okay. He's currently at health ten, which means he's currently at eight damage. Okay. We have eight damage against him, and then I'm going to go ahead and gain one SP, because I can. And I believe that's almost all I'm doing. I'm going to flip this card to the other side. And then we're going to go ahead and I can either move three or I think moving three is not the worst. No. I don't love it though because of where I am. But the Briarwark is going to target you otherwise. So I don't, I don't mind. mind that. You know, I'm going to go ahead. But I have some I have some stuff I can do. I'm going to go one, two over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me just make sure I'm, I'm corrected by this. I want to look at my cards. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Nah, okay. no, I'm not okay with that. Where is I was over here? Um, there's not much, because this difficult terrain over here, which would cost two to move into. So you could move right to there. Which I don't love. I could move over here directly, just be next to you. Mm. Or, or I could... Hmm. I could do that. That's also not the worst. Which gives me the opportunity to do that, which I don't mind. <laughs> not the worst. Because there's some interesting thing I could do over here, which I might go for. It depends on what's going to happen there, because they might try to do that. Hmm. Moving three, or I could just do brace. Brace is not going to help me, though, because it's going to gain resist, which removes the negative status effect, which I don't have any. Fine, I'm going to move three. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and just move down one, two over here. Okay. Okay. Great. Done. That's enemy's turn. All I'm right, so cards. I am going to play a react at the start of the enemy phase. 
Um, so I am going to pull two uh, within range four, so I'm going to pull him up to me. Uh, because the fire mount element is in play, I'm going to get to add a plus two uh, modifier to our bag. That's basically the reason why I did it. Okay. And I'll also gain an SP. And these are going to go back in our bag anyway. Okay. That one will go into the bag, and then the other ones go back yep. into the bag, yeah. Okay. Now let's see what they want to do. All right, so the Grove Tender is... Do we both do the second column? He's going to do this. We're on turn four, aren't we? Yeah, you're right. Upkeep. Yeah. <laughs> and another green attack. Sticky tongue. Okay. So we're going to start with the Grove Tender moving. The Grove Tender is going to go ahead and do a three damage target two. I don't like that one bit. Target two, damage three, pull two. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna end up getting pulled up to here. That's the wait. That's the grove. That's from the oh, it's from the grove tent. Oh, sorry. It's from the grove you're tent. right. Yeah. You're right. I think it'll pull me here. I'm not sure. I actually yeah. I don't think it can close the gap. No, I'm too away no matter what, so it won't pull me. Okay, so it's doing three damage, and could I do anything about this? Um, I could do that. I could do that. I do think he would still pull you close. I guess it's still this. Yeah, he would pull you to here. But that's not closer. It's still still a distance of one. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'd rather be there. No, you're right. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and do Thick Pelt before my Ooh. attack. I'm going to gain one shield. Okay. All right, and he's attacking for three, three. and yep. he's adding slow to both of us as well. Yeah. So, minus one to you, we'll just to say it both of us. Three. Isn't it both oh, of us? Oh, you're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. Okay, so that'll be uh, negative. Minus two to you. It'll be minus two to me, so, so you can do one damage, damage to me. and two damage to me. And you says adding slow? Yes. Where, where's the slow? I was, I was reading him already. Yeah. You're, You're right. on grasping vines. Yep. All right. From there, we're going to go ahead to the next person. He's going to pull, which won't really have an effect. Mm -hmm. So both there. Then move to the next person, Sticky Tongue, who's going to be targeting you, I believe. Mm -hmm. With three damage and slow mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I might die. Try not to die. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> three. Okay. I'm at two health. How did that happen? Um, You sat there and said, I'm chonky. I can take it. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, and uh, can we have two slow, or one slow? One slow, for and let's advance the round token. Alright. Okay. Am I bad? Did I flip my cards again? No, I'm on the right side. Yeah, I guess I could have been doing things to prevent things, but I didn't. Dun, 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 dun. I need more generation of certain elements. Invigorate the only what way I can get that. I need more purples. Purple? I'm gonna make a purple. No, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a purple, maybe next turn. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not entirely the same, but it's it's a good <laughs> thought. Okay. I can't do that. Where are, are you able to move? Because if you're able to move, I can do fun things. Sure. Actually, I could probably do it even if you don't move. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be that. That will help. I can probably take out the Briarwog. I can take out the Briarwog right now. Okay. Okay. Do it. Um, fine. So let's do this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the Briarwog. We're gonna do Eviscerate. It's gonna cost me 4 SP, which is a bit of a shame. But we're gonna do it. And then we're going to forego both my abilities to perform this. So we're doing a jump 4. I'm gonna go ahead and head there. That's gonna be 1, 2, and then landing there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to Eviscerate both of them, doing a, wow. d a, d weapon, a skill Eviscerate. attack. That's going to be plus one against the Briarwog, so let's go ahead and draw one over here. Two enemies within the target area defined, so it's going to be those two. And mm -hmm. we're going to draw one single modifier, which is going to be a plus two. Good Beautiful. Draw it. Although wow. I think it's overkill for the Briarwog. Yeah. But it's going to be, so the Briarwog's straight up dead. Mm -hmm. He just dies. The Briarwog, no, 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 the Briarwog's here. Oh, sorry. Okay, what did you just take off? Ah, uh, six. Okay. So that's going to be against this Grove Tender. And I'm doing um, a five damage against the Grove Tender. Okay. Okay. And those are already threes. Yep. How much are you doing? Five. But I'm also going to go ahead and rupture him. Okay, so I'm going to rupture the Grove Tender as well. Beautiful. So that if he moves, then if he can, if you force him to move, then he'll have to, um, he's only going to, if there's no enemy within two. If you can move away at the end of your turn, we can force him to move and take two more damage. How much I damage do you have total? I might kill him. He's yeah. at 11 out of 14. Oh, really? Okay. 
So in that case, I think this this ability turns, it flips. Oh, I have to flip all I cards. You should only have one other one. Yeah, I do have one, one other one. Kay. Okay, well that's not great. I want to use that right now. But that's fine. That's fine. Right we'll now? Figure it out. Right now. <laughs> Literally right now. But I think I'm fine because let me just take a look at my reacts over here. My reacts are as after an enemy dies within three, I could weaken him. I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not necessarily the worst. Or I could, after an enemy dies, you gain well, one. Well, but after an enemy dies, you'd be able to weaken someone within range five, but there's no one left. Him. It's him. I'm going to kill him. You're going to kill what him. What do you mean? Is this after an enemy dies? Yeah, I killed an enemy. I just killed an enemy. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I could go ahead and weaken... You're, you're sure you're going to kill him? Uh, yeah. You're like, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So in that case, the other reacts over here. I think even are... if I get a minus one, we're fine. So I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. So fine. I'll just pop off this one over here. So I'm gonna do draw from death instead. Where I'm going to after enemy dies in three, you gain one. So I'm gonna get, start prepping my SP again to get, have a little more again. Lovely. Flipping this over here and done. Okay. Okay. All right. I will first strike, uh, and with my axe, he is weak to it. So I'm attacking for four damage. Okay, four damage. You have the chip thing. Yep, the chip bag. Here we go. And let's see. But even if it's minus one, it's fine. That's okay. True. So that's going to kill him. Okay. Um, and before I continue with my turn, we have to read some stuff. The next, the first time a grove tender is killed, reveal one point two. Do you want to do the reading of the cards? Do you want to do the reading? <laughs> Grove tenders are an expected encounter in larger, unsettled forests. From far enough away, they're easy to mistake for local flora. They are docile creatures that normally serve as a fantastic source of nutrients for the plants and smaller fauna that take up residence in their territory. However, referring to them as docile is more of an att attribution given to them by rovers, describing how the creatures are calm at a distance and easy to avoid when identified. When something larger than the Akifa makes the mistake of approaching the territory of a grove tender, the truth of the nature is revealed. Earthen claws, whipping vines, and a sickly sweet aroma quickly marks the end of ignorant passerby. Fortunately, this is exactly what rovers excel at handling. A few sets of distinctly murderous claws and fangs won't stop a rover, f won't stop a rover from reaping any useful bounty to be found within the wilds. One rover gains one tender vine ward. Okay. Item 31. They may equip this item. If they don't have the required item slots, they may unequip items as needed. That's a item. item. I think it's going to be an item mod consumable. Okay, so item 31. You're right. And then the card on the back is nothing. Okay. I might have you look. There we go. Kind of, there we go. Uh, so this is one we don't have the art yet ready okay. for. So no art yet on this one. As you said, prototype and all that. Mm -hmm. During your turn, you can consume one of these items over here to weaken within range three, target three. Beautiful. That could be useful, but you only have one charge in it. Mm -hmm. At least right now. There you go. Do you want it? Oh, you um, just... sure. Actually, I just did it, but you can take it. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Why not? Uh, I don't have a particular reason why not. I do have some dancing around like <laughs> I don't have a reason why I not. I don't have a reason why or why not. All That's right. that. Uh, since I'm a little squishy right now at two health, I will also uh, shield myself for one. So could I have a shield token? Okay. Um, and then I will gain an SP. Now, I this got is SP the, for This days. is the fun part where you need a shield token. The fun part here is we could take a turn or two to heal ourselves up, spending time healing. The downside is we have a timer on the game. Right, right. So we have right. to be mindful of that. We can't wait too long. Um, so I'll use that and flip the card. I will move down one and mm -hmm. then remove my slow token. Okay. Um, and then I could either strike or use my shield. Are we on the next start. round or is this still last round? This is still my turn. This is still your turn? Yeah. Cool. Actually, no, you're right, though, that I struck him with that. Okay. So I was moving away to get rid of my timer token, use my card, okay. I'm all set. Okay, next round. Advance the timer, advance And now the, the enemies will go. And that's exactly how interesting that was. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we'll put these things back in the bag. Except this two comes out, doesn't it, Meg? Yes, sad, if it got pulled, yeah, sad, it's is, gone. That feels a bit like a waste. It, it's okay. It was used to hurt people. It was used. All right, and that's going to be that round. We've asked the time tracker, which I, I think you just did. Okay, yep. great. And now we're going to continue. Um, I believe, uh, before you even go, I think I'm going to take, take some time to go ahead and knit sinew over there. I'm going to heal you by two. So oh my I'm gosh. not going to attack. I'm going to heal you by two. Wow. And I'm going to pop down a token on you. I'm going to pop down channel, which is after your next attack, you get to heal two damage and remove channel. Yep, so I'm going to give me two healing now and two healing in the potential wow. future. I'm protected. Yeah, it's, this is a usual a Meg thing to be like, I have two health, I'm not dying. <laughs> uh, I still have also three movement and or resist. Do you have any negative status effects? No. So I could move, but I could also just go ahead and brace you. I'm not averse to bracing you, because next time you take a negative status effect, you ignore it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and brace you over there. 
So you want to grab a resist token mag? Yes. Okay. Alternatively, I could have done brace first. I have so many. No, so I, I, I did, let's, let me do it so that I did brace first, resist first, because oh. then you would have gained a health instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could do that to even just remove my shield to heal one. Wait, no, 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 no. What do you mean? Okay. If there was, no, no. Put the resist. Take the resist off, and then just gain health. Okay. I'm resisting you before I, see, I, see, I, I channel. See. That way it does heal me? Yeah. Just giving you an extra healing, because I don't okay. feel the need to do anything worse than where sense. I am. And I still have a card I could play right now. I could still play a card if I want. Uh, we have those in play a little bit. Not really. I don't love this. I do love that. I could do this. I'm going to go ahead and invigorate. Okay, so I'm going to play invigorate right now, which means I'm going to strengthen myself. So I'm going to grab a strengthen token, Mag, if you want to pass me a strengthen. So I'm going to be doing plus one damage. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that to, and I gain an SP. And we also channel a purple. Can you channel purple? Yes. Okay. That's my turn. Lovely. I'm going to play it safe because I think you want me to. I, mean, I want you to, to live. <laughs> Is that the question? Um, so I'm going to use Sharpening Kit, which isn't going to do anything, um, but it will gain me an SP, and I want to flip it so then I can use this Rave card later. Okay. So I will do that. Um, and then I will just heal two to myself. And then I will do that thing. Can I have a charge token where it'll add plus two shield the next time I'm attacked? Nice. On my little ability over here. All right, now we're okay. we're running the clock a little bit. We are. It's just a drop. Just a drop. Okay. We have we have tons of time. We All think right. maybe. Next round. Okay. Uh, time to hurt that thing. You want to hurt the thing first, and then I'll see if I need to hurt it too. Yeah, I'm definitely not hurting it enough. I don't think. Um, well, what if, what actually, if, no, 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 I can. What I if can. I strengthened you? Last turn I did strengthen. What if I strengthen you to give you plus one? Is that worth it? Helps to save us rather than yeah. I'm gonna strengthen you. Yeah. I'll strengthen yeah. you. Just to just to instead of this. No, no, both. Oh. I strengthen me. I'm strengthening you instead. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's right off the bat. I will attack this thing for four with okay. my strike. Great. So let's see if it does four. Hopefully it does. Uh, your, what's your default attack? Three plus the one. So you're four. So you just need to draw, draw uh, the like zero Not or negative less. one. Okay. So we can go pull it out. We have beautiful. There Perfect. All right. So now, if you'd like to read another one. Let's read another one. Um, I believe See, there's it's no running the clock here. The sticky concoction that escapes the cracked nest is quickly scooped together as the once docile sentries buzz awake. Its namesake, taken thanks to the insects where it comes, nectar, contained inside the Nectari colony, commands quite the sum as something clans desire. Combining fickle spores sought close and distant alike, the resulting sap empowers most creatures that can consume or absorb the mixture. The Nectari use this as a sustenance to their grubs, except they also spray the spores as dangerous and mostly unpredictable defense. Kebraska alchemists could exchange completed limbs and receive a chance to simply toss offers to chase this measure of unharvested nectar. This does conjure questions, such as seeking the accurate count of limbs lost with hives in efforts to collect nectar in years past. The rover that destroyed the Nectari hive gains one Nectari polym, item 115. What? They may equip this item. If they don't have the required item slots available, they may unequip items needed. Then spawn Nectari swarms in spaces adjacent to the destroyed hive. Uh oh. Spawn R Nectari swarms. Is that equal to two, two. Nectari swarms? Yep. In spaces adjacent to the destroyed hive. Do you have Nectari swarms over here? Uh, oh, they're over there. You have them next to you. Okay. So we're going to pause this, so toss this away. The hive was over here, so we're going to go ahead and just pop these out like so. We have hmm. two Nectari swarms. Hmm. Item 115. Hmm. Want to pass it to me? Okay. Yeah, if you want to look, I'll keep going with my. Do they have items in them? Do they have numbers in them? Oh, yeah. I'm back. I just didn't see it. 115, 115. Where could it you be? It doesn't exist. Cool. Yeah, you're right. Let me check. I'll double check the rules, but yeah. Oh, it is maybe a little one? That says yep, item. It is. It says item. So say, say consumable. Yeah. Prototype. Prototype. Okay. Um. So, and I get it. Yes. Sure, right? So it says consumable. During your turn, heal one, range three, target two, and strengthen. That's pretty cool. Not bad. Okay. Okay, and then, so I attacked so far, and that's it. Now, what did you say about them? They're Anything swamped. in particular? No, they're just annoying. Traits, they're they have annoying. flight. <gasps> Determine addition to the bribery. Okay, um, we have the Nectari Swarm. They have traits. They have flight, multi-target sources. Multi-target sources of damage deal a normal amount of damage. All the sources of damage cannot exceed one. Interesting. Oh, we can only hit them one at a time? No. Anytime we, if we're targeting multi-target it looks like it looks like it's saying anything that hits multiple targets mm. deals a normal amount but anything that did that all this damage cannot exceed one 
Think of it as like swar- like mm-hmm. taking a sword and like swathing it through a, a bunch of right. bees or whatever. <laughs> like you'll probably kill a whole bunch, but if you're trying to kill one, you're barely going to hit. Hello, have. bees! That's interesting. Only focuses the enemy that destroyed the hive. It only is going to focus on you. <coughs> you hear that? Tight. Only they're, only, they're only four health. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so... Uh, and actually, I have channel, so I will recover two more health after that attack. Which is great for me. And that was my base attack that I used, right? Yeah. So I will use my base movement to move one down here. Um, I wish you were a little bit closer to me. I wish you were a little bit closer. Uh, and enough. they have no weakness? Okay. Correct. So I will do coordinated assault. Uh, and I could choose one or I could spend two of my SP to perform both. I have plenty of SP. I guess I should heal myself. Do you want to run away instead? If you run away, Meg, they may not be able to hit you. I want to kill them. But you can't attack in this turn, can you? Why not? With you this? Ready to attack? That's your weapon attack. Yeah. That means you do... That's an addition to? Yeah. Doing. Oh, interesting. Some of them say that. Some of them gotcha. say this. Okay. That's an additional attack. Yep. All right. But so you're only going to deal one damage, right? Two damage. It's not a multi-attack. Oh, I was hearing what you were saying the opposite yeah. way. That's why I was like, it doesn't make sense. No, so you're going to do one damage. Mm. I'm saying if we're prepared to take to wait till next turn, I can probably hurt them badly. Okay, let me think about what I want to do then. Yeah, because that they, their whole system is a little obnoxious. Okay, how about I make them all a bit closer for you? I mean, I, they're going to move. Well, I'm not, I'm not worried about them being closer. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I'd rather they be further so they can have less of a chance of attacking us. I can do that too. That's fine too. Okay, so I'll play intrusive thoughts. So one enemy within range three moves two with you controlling the action, and if the dark element is in play, it's plus one, so I can also do that. So I can have this go one, two, three. Sure. If you'd like. Um, and I'll gain an SP. Okay. Are you running away? Mm. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to attack you. I will go one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'll it's just, just kind of just going to attack you then. Okay, cool, cool. I'll try. We'll That's see. Fine. I mean, um, I'm, I'm like super shielded. I'm shielded for three right now. There's a reason you got down to two health. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and doing uh, do a few <laughs> things over here. We have that. <laughs> I can do that. This situation. I'm going to go ahead and I could do that. I could do that. After an enemy, I want I want to switch one of these. Oh, I could do that. Okay, <clears throat> cool. So I will play this card over here. So I'm gonna play Incant over here. Incant is going to give me plus one a self. Can we get a plus one token? Yes, we certainly can. Then I'm going to flip this card and one other card, and we're going to gain one for each card flipped. So I'm going to flip this card. And, and it's the flip, same. With the yeah, another symbol. symbol. Yep. yep, it's another symbol up here. And I'm going to flip this one over here. Okay, so you flip two of those cards. Uh, that's going to give me that. And then I'm going to get two SP as a result. Then I still have other options I can do. I could minimize their attack if I want. That's fine, but I don't need to. I could go ahead and attack if I want to, but I don't need to. I can move if I want, and I could ambush or knit sinew. I think I'm going to go ahead and knit sinew on you, Meg. So I'm going to go ahead, go ahead again. I'm going to give you two. Two health? Two health, yeah. Wow. And then again, I'm going to give you that, that ability, if it's called, if you uh, you want to take a channel token. Okay. So the next time you attack, you're going to get two health back. Beautiful. Okay. And then I could See, brace. I'm fine. You're fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. You're fine. Um, I could brace myself, which feels, they're going to move up to four, it looks like. They're more, they only one that moves four. If they move four, this one's going to hit you either, either way. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, but one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's fine as far as them being unable to actually do anything right now, which I th kind of like. So I'm just going to go ahead and do Brace, I guess. I'm going to pop a Brace onto myself. Can I get a Brace? Uh, resist token? Yes. It's just going to resist the next negative effect. Oh, no, it's not going to actually resist it. It's going to prep for resistance. The next time I get a positive effect, I'll heal one damage. And that's my turn. All right. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Now they're going to go ahead and take their turn. Let's see what they do. They're going to do this one. Okay. Final sting. So, of course, he got the one that moves four. <laughs> he got the one that moves four after all that. 
After all that. Okay. Well, this one's going to go ahead and pop over to you. So mm -hmm. I'm going to pop there. Uh, it's going to do a one damage attack. Dies if attack... Oh, it dies if the attack is performed. They're going to die. Oh, they're stinging me. They're stinging us. Both of them are stinging us. Adorable. I actually don't mind this at all. So they're going to go ahead and do that. They're going to walk over to you. They're going to sting you. Uh, dies if attack is performed. And that means you're it's going to deal three damage attack to you. If you want to draw a thing. Uh. It's also going to, uh, unfortunately, going to weaken you. No, it's going to afflict you. Minus one, mm -hmm. um, but I will. Oh, I just put it back in the bag. I will lose both of these. Whoa. Okay, so you do lose a positive effect though. That's okay. I also take no damage. Okay, but you lose a positive effect. I, I took it off. Okay, I had cool. Channel. That's unfortunate. I just buffed this up. And it's going fine. to go ahead and die, which is great. Meow. And then we're going to do the same for this one. One, two, three, four. And it's going to go ahead and sting me, which means yeah. it removes my positive effect. Well, this little stinger. Minimize some of the things. Oh, this did. one got plus one. Okay. That's okay. That's going to be four damage to me. I can take it. So I'm going to go down to eight. And then if you can give me a uh, afflict token. You need an afflict token too. Mm. Both of us need an afflict. The next time you would take a uh, negative status effect. So afflict. this is uh, prototype rules. Uh, I do not know if we have afflict tokens. Okay. Um, we should probably get afflict so tokens. So why don't we put charge tokens on both of us? Sure, charge tokens. So we're going to put charge tokens here. I believe I punched this out. Uh, I, I believe we do not have afflict. Okay. Sounds good. So, we have that over there, and that means we're done there. So, that is the situation there. This guy dies, because, you know, final sting and all that. And then we go to nothing. We currently have nothing happening, because we need to head it over to the next tier. What's the win condition again? Um, 15 rounds, do what? To defeat someone we haven't yet met. Uh, we head want north to of the river. And kill Zapudi, the briar bog. Interesting. So we have so Zapudi move on the Briar. To the next round. Uh, yeah, since apparently we, died. we have we're running out of time. Um, you, and now it is our turn. It is indeed our turn. You want me to run up there and find out what? I happens? want you to run up there and find out what happens. Okay, so I believe this will trigger before I finish my movement. So I'll go one, two. Okay. And then we will read the next card, which is this one, Alex. Without the clan actively hunting through the forest, a number of beasts have returned to the nest in the deeper parts of Tarik. One sort of problem that Gallipa left to multiply can cause is the massive briarwog that lies in the pond. When a male briarwog grows large enough, perhaps on a steady diet of Galloper, it means many females will flock to him in hopes of food and succor. While not the most dangerous beast to be found in the wilds, briarwog in the act of rearing will ooze all kinds of vile fluids into the waters they use for spawning. This leads to a slow but certain poisoning of everything in and around the water they brood in. Hunting them will be a favor to the Yanshuv. Spawn wave two. So we're going to flip this card over, mm -hmm. which is going to give us specific spawning rules. So we need another Grove Tender, Meg, up here. Uh, so yep. it's actually, uh, we didn't show this for setup, but this only the ones with one bar. Are showing. Okay. So no Grove Tender, that would be for three players. So only thing is one bar. Yep. Okay. So we only need, we need four of these guys. Okay. So we're going to go, so one is going to be in this column here and four down. I'm going to pop one. We're going to have one one over here yep three over yep. okay and then we have the special one let's make it six or not do we have a six we're gonna make it five five is gonna be a six we're gonna make it a six okay? yeah see this is one we would have on the yellow standee but we're not using yeah. the standees do you want to stand just him up he can be standing taller than the rest that's we could maybe let's do that that might help us no, with let's, it. Uh, let's just put it down like this maybe okay. with a standee on top of it yeah that's good cool. like a little king put it on his head oh that's one below yep yeah. okay where the, f the feels... Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. We're good. All right. Okay. And did you read this part? When Zafuldi the Briarwog is killed, reveal 1.4. All right. Isn't that a job to kill him? Yeah. What does it mean, reveal 1.4? The job is to kill him. Uh... Yeah. What? What's the question? Oh, is she saying it's endgame stuff? Yes, because this doesn't really tell you any endgame text. Gotcha. Um, now, just so you know, he has 20 health, not 10. Oh, yay, I love that. Yep. I love that about him. <laughs> okay. So, let's go ahead and you can continue your movement. Okay. I will go one, two more. Um, right, because, I mean, the most I can move is four, one, two, three, four. I don't mind if that one comes up against me. Um, and then I should just do more setup, right, Alex? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Which I don't really... I have React. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play Fire Orum Oil. It's not doing anything. Well, yeah, I, I'm not going to. I don't really have anything I can do. Um, but I will do Preservation again to give myself another two shield. Okay. 
My turn is going to be sadly fairly boring. I'm going to take a movement three action, going one, two, three into the difficult terrain. And then I'm going to knit sinew over here. So I'm going to heal myself and take a token. Can I get a channel token, Meg? Yes. Okay. So next time I attack, I'll take, I'll heal two more damage. You're so far away. I'm far away. Hurry up. Anything I can do, let me see if there's anything I can do with my cards over here. I don't know if there is anything I can do. I don't know if there's anything I can do. That's not helpful. That's not helpful. And that's not helpful. None of these are helpful. None of these are helpful. Okay, next turn. You want to advance the time tracker? Yes. Oh, wait, 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 enemies. Yeah, Sorry, you're enemies. right. They get turns now. Sadly. They're going to go. All right. And there's no one within range, too. Okay. So they are going to do this one. Oh, my gosh. The Ooh. only one that would be close enough. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. If you want to move the rest yeah. four, but he's the only one, one attacking. One, two, three, four. One, um, two, three, four. So he is going to attack me for three. One, two, three, four. The big guy. Okay. Okay. And attacking for three. Minus one, which is only two. I will use my charge token that has my shield, and I will take no damage. Nice. And that's that. Okay. All right, we are now in turn nine. We got this. We got this. We have got this together. Got this. Actually, I could actually hit one now. Okay. Mm-hmm. I could do that, but I need more... What's it called? Arrgh. All right, how about I go first? You could if you want to, certainly. Okay. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Face this way. And then I'm going to do this great card, Fever Spice Whoa. Spray. Um, so I am foregoing my bottom ability, so I'm not going to do the charge token or attacking, um, but I'm going to get to do this cool attack. It's going to put the fire element into play. I'm just going to do some of the upkeep part first. All right. And then it's going to be a technique attack for two damage. Uh, and unfortunately they're not weak to that. Um, but I will attack them all for two. Uh, will you draw for us? Yes. Okay. Draw, and we're going to see what we got here. We got a plus one. Beautiful. So for three. Um, and then I'm just going to move this one out so that we all know this is the one for the Briar Wogs. Yeah. Um, so three damage to all of them. There's a Sagan Hoot guy. Or not all of them. I'm not reaching him. How does Sagan Hoot come into play? You will see. Okay. You, you'll just have to see. So six, one, and three both take uh, three damage. And then it is my That's turn. That's my whole turn. Okay. Oh, I'm and gonna, I will flip the card? Yeah, seems reasonable. I'm going to use a three movement and go one, two, three. So now within range three of that five over there. And then I could go ahead. Oh, interesting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I will do... Um, on a, basically, I'm going to do an ambush attack against this guy, which is range three. Range three. So I'm going to draw a token. And we're going to do this, Meg. We're going to get a plus one. Another plus one, Meg. So can I get a four damage against this guy? Can I have four damage on five? And he's the unhurt one? Yes. And then I'm going to go ahead and play the bell tolls over here, paying three total SP. And it's going to be one, two, three. Can I just see those other quest cards while you're doing Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm going to do that three over there. Also, I attacked right now, so I to remove the channel and recover two health. So I'm going to do that. So I'm at 12. I'm going to remove this over here. And then we will go ahead and we should have Afflict on us. Afflict is not really relevant to not going to hurt yeah. us yet. Okay. And then I'm going to do three damage where I'm going to you add two more damage to one, six, and five. Two more damage to one, six, and five. Two more damage. Yep. To one, six, and five. To one. That's easy for five. And six. And then add a negative one token to the bag. A negative what? Negative one token to the bag. Okay. And that's the situation. Which means Beautiful. it's time for them to act. Was that round nine or ten? That was nine. I have been doing okay. it. Okay. Perfect. I think. Let's go ahead. I'm pretty sure. The kids at home will let us know. All right. So now... You should have taken... You should have one damage, by the way. Why? Because the trait, the Briarox trait, is enemies uh, adjacent to it to suffer one damage after attacking it. Okay. Yep. 
Speaking right. of the kitties at home. So now it's going to be a two attack. I'm going to put this here because it's going to be different depending on the enemy. Depending on mm -hmm. who it is. Um, so if no one tar if no one within range two, um, only this one is going to be doing this attack. Gotcha. So a technique attack, range four, it's going to do two damage and it's going to also gain afflict. I think that I, like, mm, I'm unsure. What's the question? If I would gain a new afflict and take the damage. I don't believe you gain afflict. I don't think so I don't think so you'd either. get it twice. I agree. I agree. Okay. Uh, and then it will also put the water in play. I'm just going to do that first before we draw. Because I don't want to forget. Speaking of which, by the way, for those who may have noticed earlier, the Grove Tender technically has one armor. So we technically may have uh, not killed the Grove Tender quite as fast as we thought we did. Uh, everything's fine. Everything is fine. Um. So he's attacking me for two damage? Yep. Okay. Don't love it. For three damage. Three damage, okay. Oh, I just put that back in. Now, so what were you saying about only one's attacking you? No, only one has that condition. Mm -hmm. And they are they condition? Uh, is See it case how by case? If no one within range two, yeah. If at least one within two. Oh, I did that opposite. If there's a no enemies within range two, there's at least one. So it should be the first one. So I should have taken one. one more damage. It should be sticky tongue. Right. Yep. And then it'll slow you down. Yeah. Now, the slowing you is where you will both take the slow and you'll lose the flick and take yep. another damage. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Now I'm hurting a little bit. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, so then the rest of them will do venomous splatter. But they can't. Are, do, do they, uh, does each one operate independently? Yes. Okay. So each one. Okay, fine. So this one's going to go ahead and do within range four. So number one's going to do within range four, still targeting you. Mm -hmm. So okay, great. So now it's gonna hit you with a flick. Is there an ordering? We should have done. We should have done one, then three. I think there's an ordering, but I'm not sure. Either way, let's go ahead and do it. It's yeah. fine. Okay. All right. Minus one. So it's gonna be one damage to you okay. and a flick. Okay. Can I have another charge token? Yes, that's what you we're can. Doing. Yes, you can. And that negative one comes out. Okay. Then I this believe flick. I will remove. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we'll have Gosh. number six is going to go. Six is going to one, two, three again, attack you. So same issue. One more time. Just same don't draw. Issue. Two damage attack. Minus one. Yep. Okay. So it's two damage, so it's one. One damage, correct. Okay. And nothing happens to your flicked. Okay. Okay. And then this one's going to attack me with that damage. All right. And I also have a flicked, which won't change the thing. Minus, Minus one. one. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. So it's going to be one damage to me. All right. Okay. Oof. And that is their annoying stuff. Venomous splatter, indeed. And now it's time to uh, clean the floor. If you want to move the time track, I don't know if we will. What do you mean? We're gonna I'm kill a little them. concerned. We're gonna kill them. I'm worried for us. What's their health at? Who's who's in, who's gonna die? I mean, they're all pretty close. Uh, number one has five damage on it. Number three has three damage on it. Number five has six damage on it. And number six has five damage on okay, it. Okay, cool, cool. So we're gonna kill them. That's what you're saying. I'm hoping. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I should be reacting. Truly. I should be reacting. I should be reacting. Doing a terror attack. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to do the following. Ready, Meg? Okay. Mm hmm I think... Oh, you know, I don't think I paid my SP when I used that. I can't do this. Really, never mind. Never mind. I was going to do something cool. Now I can't. No, I can't. Okay, that one will help a little bit, so I can still do that. Okay, let's try that, let's try that. We're going to go ahead and do the following. We're going to go ahead and we have water, so I'm going to play this card. Doing your next attack, uh, go ahead and add one and one to the attack. So I'm going to basically hit this guy with a slow. Also, it's going to make plus one to the damage. So we're going to do this over here. Beautiful. Draw a token, we need to put these back in the bag. So we're going to be doing a three damage attack against that guy. And drawing a token for the bag, which is going to be a plus zero. So it's going to be three damage against him, but okay. it's really four because of the fact that he is that type. All right, well, then you killed him. I killed him? What was he at? Yeah, he was at six. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Okay, so that means he's dead. So the slow is not going to matter. That's going to be a tactical unnecessaryness well. to it. Uh, then I gain an SP, which is important. I wanted that. And then I can get another SP because of, you know, it rules. It certainly is. Okay, that's going to flip around. And then it's going to be... I didn't move yet. I could heal myself. I could heal that afflict over here, which I think is not the worst, honestly. 
Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and brace. I'm going to brace to remove this condition from me, so I won't have to take it. And I'll put a resist token on me. Can you give me a, a resist token on me? Okay, that's going to help me. The next time I take a positive token, I will get benefit from that. That's my turn. All right. I'm going to go crazy. Don't want to react I should be. I should be doing uh, defense stuff, but I'm not going to. Hmm. Um, so first, I will strike this guy for three, if you can... Uh, Pull a modifier for me. Okay. Pull a modifier, so you're attacking the guy in front of you? Yep, okay. for three. You're going to draw A plus zero. Okay, so for three. And he's number three. And then I will use... Uh, oh my gosh, I was going to use this, but I don't have enough SP. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, I guess I will do intrusive thoughts. One enemy within range three performs move two with you controlling the action. I might move him away from us. That seems reasonable. One, and two, it's actually range three. Three. Beautiful. Um, and I will gain an SP for using that. Oop. I will flip the card, and then I'm going to heal myself for three. Okay. okay. Enemy's turn. Want to draw an enemy token? Yes. Oh boy, do I. Yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. All right, so resolving from top to bottom, we're going to have one's going to go ahead and go. That's going to be within two, so if no enemy, so he's doing a jump four. So he's going to jump next to you. Mm -hmm. Boom. And then he's going to hit you for three. Okay. Are you fine? Are you fine? I'm fine. Oh, you know, what I you should doing? be reacting. Before you are attacked, gain plus one shield for the attack, and I could spend an SP to be shielded too. He's attacking for how much? For three. three? I might as well. Okay, so now I'm shielded too. Okay. So I will take one damage. The second enemy is going to be doing rollout um, over here. And then this will, sorry, this is going to put this element into play. Nice. And um, I also have to flip an additional card. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Hmm. A second enemy is going to go ahead and go, and that enemy is going to do this attack. So it's going to do a two range attack, and then it's going to jump backwards. Okay. Oh, for so four. It's four damage. Are you fine? You're still fine. Yeah, I'm fine by one. Fine by one is totally fine. That's going to retreat three, one, two, three, and that's going to leave this person over here, who's going to try to do if at least one enemy within range two. No, he's no enemies. So he's going to jump four. So one, two, three, four. Okay. He might, I think he would go toward you. Were you closer at that oh, point? Oh, interesting. He's over here. One, two, yep. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Okay. Because then maybe you can take him out. Yeah, we can We can, We can. can work with this. All right, we're on to the work, next round. Work, 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 like you want to. Yeah, next round, next round. Key. Okay, can I do something cool? Yeah. Excellent. I'm going to play Eviscerate. I'm going to spend all my SP Whoa. over there. And I'm going to jump into play. So we're going to do a jump four. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm jumping there. We're going to do a slash three. Can you three. jump to here? Or can you not reach there? Does I could jump there. Is it, be, is it better? If you're closer to me, I could heal you. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Um, keep in mind, I'm the one who's at 11 health. But yeah. that's fine. Well, no, no, no. Sorry. Not heal. Um, I can heal there's, you, but I can also strengthen you. There's still a good reason you. to do that. There's still a very good reason to do that. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to pop there. I'm going to eviscerate them. They are weakened to that attack. So it's going Beautiful. to attack four. We're going to put some stuff back in this bag. Wow, you're doing so much. Okay. Hitting two enemies in the target area. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and put down a token. It's going to be, ah, so it's attack three. So attack three against those. I'm okay. going to do three damage to them. So three against three is hanging on by one health. Yep. You know another good reason to jump there, Mag? Because then I'm not adjacent to them when attacking them, which means I don't take that extra damage. And this one I'll put a five. Okay. He's at eight. Then, that was my basic. I have to give up both my abilities to do that. But we're still fine. We're still fine. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, then I'm going to put uh, 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 whatever this is called, the, uh, the the rupture on both of them. Rupture is going to go on both of them, so if they move, they're going to take two damage. And also, that is, I think, everything there. But I'm then going to use my Tendervine Ward Mag. So I'm going to use up the charge token, and I'm going to put a negative one hit on all three of them. So all three enemies within range are going to get a negative one hit on them. So they're going to be doing one less damage on their turn. And that is my turn, I believe. I don't think I can do anything else. Okay. That's great. That yeah. was great. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, and then just, just remember to flip this flip one this into your other And all my eyes. Yep. Which I have one other. Thick right. pelt. Oh, I want that. 
Arr. Okay. All right, I'm going to go one, two. Okay. And then I'm going to use the Nectari pol Pollen. So I'm going to heal uh, two targets for one. Okay. I don't know if you're hurt at all. I am hurt enough that I can take healing. I'll heal you for one. And we also both gain strengthen. Now, I have Afflict, so... Oh, it, that doesn't matter. No, no, no. It was this is where it'll help. Did my afflicts come before or after my slow? I think after uh, the slow. I think after. I think it was after, yeah. too. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this, which means I'm also going to remove this and gain another health. Beautiful. Okay. Um, And then, uh, so that is spent. I will then use my base attack for three, but it's actually four because I'm so strong. Um, okay. And they're not weak to... Nope, they're not. So I will attack for four. Um, no. Which one? What are you doing? Attacking I'm attacking for four. for four. Okay, great. Draw a token. You've been drawn. That's true. That is confusing, isn't it? Plus five. One. Is that enough to kill it? Uh, I don't think so. Five, six, seven. Oh no, it is. That's Good. exactly enough. That means you won't take the damage. I Beautiful. assume. I assume it means you won't take the damage. Yes. Okay. Hmm. That might change what I do then. Um. Oh, and I was slow, but I moved. Yeah. I did that purposely. Um, then I will, hmm, 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 sorry, I didn't think I was going to kill it. Hashtag first world problems. Oh, interesting, Meg, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to play Consume Vitality. After an enemy within three dies, he was in three, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give you two healing. Beautiful. Because you're close to death Hanging and I don't like that. Hanging out by your edge. Uh, I also am going to be able to generate a speed, which I'm going to give to you as well. So you have a swift. You can move two at uh, two extra to your next movement. Beautiful. Okay. Um, and then I'll play Fire Orm Oil. Uh, I'm not doing it for the attack part, but I will gain an SP. And uh, I will also put the fire element into play. Another fire element. Okay. Okay. And I believe that's all of our turns. We're going to see what that enemy's going to do. Red. That's not the best, not the worst. No. We are within two, so they're going to be jumping three. If no enemies, no. So they're going to be going ahead and doing a two-range attack. So a two-range attack, four damage, pull one, and then they're going to be, oh my gosh, it's not good at all. It's horrible, actually. Yeah. So the first one's going to, I mean, the good news is hitting me, so I'll be fine. Uh, they're going to pull me. So the first one's going to pull me. It's going to do four damage. Can you draw a damage, Meg? And then both, both channels, oh my gosh, it's going to be five damage to me, so I'll take, I'm going down to eight. Okay, and the next one? Minus one. Minus one. So that's going to be a three damage, so that comes back down to five. So I'm just suddenly down to five. Went from the prime of life to not great quite at all. Yeah. But then they are both going to be... Uh, uh, oh, wait. No, I, they're both weakened. Both weakened. Okay. Okay, so, so you do two minus... more damage. Yeah. I should get back. And then if you want to put rapture on them, or whatever it's called. Rupture? Rupture. Uh, channel. Channel. Oh, okay. I was gonna... Oh, I didn't. I put it over here. Okay. But you've been putting it on them. I've been putting their statuses on them, just because why that's not? That's fine. Okay. All right. That's now the situation. Move the round up. Now how much damage is the Briarwog at? We are at round twelve now, just to warn you. Yeah, well. totally fine. Uh, so number three, which is the smaller one, is at nine. He only needs one more hit. And the on other him. one. The other one is at eight okay. out of twenty. So that's fine. We can do this. We can do this. He yeah. Confidently. Okay. Oh, we gotta look at our cards. Figure our situation. Oh, that's fine. I can do that. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's annoying. All right. How about I go first? Mm -hmm. Um. So I will go. I'll just keep attacking the big guy because you can maybe ping him. So I will go one, two, three. Okay. With my movement. Um. I guess I removed Swift even though I didn't super need it. Yep. It oh, happens. It's on my side. Sorry. Um, and then I will use my base attack first for three damage to this mm -hmm. guy. Okay. Let's see what's in the bag. Three damage. I'm going to go ahead and draw one. You got a plus one. Four damage. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to spend two SP to use both of these abilities on coordinated assault. So uh, I'm spending two to do both. So I'll perform a weapon attack for two more damage, please. Okay. Weapon attack for two more damage. Yep. Okay, so you need another one, another draw. Yep. Okay, we're doing another plus one. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay, 
So that's three more damage on him. So what's his total on now? I'll check that in a second. I'll just finish this. Um, and then I will also heal myself for two. Okay. Put this into play. And I will strengthen you. You. Fine. That way. I'm already strengthened already. Oh, so well, strengthen then I'll yourself. strengthen myself. I didn't realize you were. Um, and yeah, and then I'll flip my card and then I will check on his HP while you go. 5, okay. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. He's currently at 15 out of 20. I'm going to go ahead and put Eker Blood into play. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Doing the next attack, add that to the attack. So Flicked. I'm going to pop that into play. So I need, what am I doing here? I'm doing this. Do you have one of those? It's the afflict one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So put it on the... And it, well, so it's going to remove his positive effect because I'm going to be attacking mm -hmm, him. Mm -hmm. So it's going to remove that. Beautiful. Uh, takes that out of play. And then I'm going to... And the next time he would gain a negative status effect, he'll deal what's it called. Uh, that's I'm going to gain two SP, which is important. SP. SP. And then I'm going to do a basic attack over here, which is going to be a three damage attack against him. Uh, ooh, I have to move, don't I? Because I can't do that adjacently. So I will move. I will go ahead and move downwards, I guess, because I have no choice. I'm going to pop down one, yeah, two, three, game. and I'm going to, I'll pop down over two, and I'll pop there and hit that guy. Oh, interesting. I'm not within two. That's nice. Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that guy, which means... Oh, interesting. That really is interesting. Oh, that's good. So I'm just realizing stuff. Stuff not are good. Fun. Stuff are good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this guy. So it's going to be a three damage attack uh, with plus one. So it's going to be a four damage attack. Beautiful. We're going to draw from the bag. Unfortunately, you took out all the good numbers. We <laughs> draw a zero, which is fine. So four damage? Four damage against the big Oh my guy. gosh, he's hanging about on by a thread. How close is he? He's at 19. Okay, 19? Are you serious? So yep. all he has to do is move and we'd be fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to be my attack over there, and, and that's this situation. So uh, that's done. This card is going to flip, and we're going to generate a water. Okay. Okay. We're going to do resolve enemies. So, enemies are going to resolve. Uh, draw tokens. Yep. Okay. And so we have that in play. Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> That's the one. So basically, he has an ability where after he moves, he's going to take two damage. Mm -hmm. He drew the one thing where he won't move. Mm. So now he's going to heal first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, fine. So he's going to heal first, and that is what it is. So, he's going to go ahead and deal an attack. Um, he's going to go ahead and target me. And that's going to be... It's a two damage attack. You range four. Too. I'm fine with me attack. I have plenty. Okay. Alright, we're going to put a uh, damage on me. What's going to be two damage to me by default. Draw from the bag. Okay, draw two. Okay, so I'm going to go down to five. Then the other one's going to attack you. The other one's going to be doing a sticky tongue. So that's going to be <laughs> doing two damage to you. Uh, three three damage. damage to you and slow. Four damage. Four damage and slow. Yeah, I'm glad I took the first damage. Okay. Neither one is moving, unfortunately. Can I have a slow thing? Yeah. And this one over here, by the way, this one does have channel, so it recovers two. So, mega slow. You need slow. Uh, can you recover uh, two on, on number three? He heals for two? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play a react. Okay. Um... After you are attacked, perform a weapon attack, damage one, and I could pay an SP to make it more, but I don't have any, so let's see. I'm going to attack him for one. And you just need to draw a not negative zero, negative one. And I'll okay. put the fire element into play. You're going to draw, we're going to draw a positive one. Beautiful. So that kills him, right? Yes, so we'll flip that, and I will also flip this. Okay. So we draw, we read a card right now. Yes. Because we um, just killed him. Yes, so... Uh, we will read 1.4. Okay. Why does it feel like the mission's not over yet? You haven't even finished wiping the gunk from yourselves before an echoing screech pierces the tree line. It is unlike anything ever heard in your time as rovers. When the noise subsides, a person slowly drags themselves out of the trees, the bar creaking and cracking around them. It looks to be a tear of the unshoe, but something is terribly wrong. Their features are distorted and pitch-colored. It gazes towards your party, prompting everyone to move back defensively. Its face, half-formed into a beak, peels back into a crazed grin. Give me your hide. Give me your flesh. Give me your wing. Can there be another one? Objective changed. Escape the ambush by killing the Zagna Nahut. The time limit is increased by four. Beautiful. So you have 19 turns. Okay. Spawn wave three. What do you mean wave three? Yeah. 
All rovers may immediately perform a movement three. Okay, so, so we would he's... spawn them first so that we okay. know what's on the table. Great. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to do, when the Nahoot is killed, draw 1.5. So we need a special one. Okay, let's do it again. Let's give... Zikon he's the Hoot. only one, though. He's oh. this named enemy, so I, that's okay. It's going to be over... Oh, it's on this page. Okay, this page. Then we need one, some of these people. One of these. The Galeepers. The regular Galeepers. Mm -hmm. Regular Galeepers are in play. Okay. And regular Galeeper down here. Okay. And then regular... That's it. It looks like that. It's just two. Okay. Okay, we can deal with this. We can deal with this. We can deal with this. Just a little bored. Not a big deal. <laughs> so now we need to kill him. Yes. And what's his health? 30. 30. <laughs> We're fine. We got 19. Did you know this was happening? I knew this was happening. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> so we can move three. There Are they activating this turn? I guess they're not. Right. Okay. I'm going to go for him. One, two, three. I'm going. I'm going face. I don't know what else to do. What's their movement? The Gleepers over there are going to, if no, they're going to be moving 3, 4, 3, 4. Um, I think I'm also going to move 3, but slightly differently. I think I want to take out this stupid Briarog. Briarog, if he moves... Interesting. He's damaged. Okay, okay. What can I have over here? I have that. I can do that. You can do that. Okay. I'm just going to grab these. I'll put them over here. I don't expect us to go on this side of the map anymore. Okay. So, I'm trying to think this out over here. Fine. We're going to do it. I'm going to go one, two, three over here. Okay. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. That's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Totally fine. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Fine. All right. Go ahead and advance the round marker while we uh, yes. choose our next actions for the round. What do you think of this change, Alex? I liked it better when we had to kill the person with 20 health and he was down to 2 health remaining. Yeah. Yeah, that felt a little bit safer. Um, and he also gains plus 1 shield for each Gleeper, so he actually has a uh, plus 2 shield as well. So we have to kill the Gleepers, realistically speaking. Because <laughs> killing someone with 30 health with 2 shield is not a recipe for success. I'm a little success. worried about us. Alright, well, it's cool. I got 5 health. You got how much health? Two. Two. So we're totally fine. Totally fine. Totally <laughs> we're fine. doing great. We're t we're so in trouble. Okay. I'm strengthened. Yep. Okay. So, time to hit some baddies. Actually, uh, we could have moved three. Yes. Only because I am also slow. I'm now realizing. So I wonder, could I have gotten here? We were like over here-ish. If you're over here and we were down here, you could have gotten there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go fight this one then. Okay. Just because, uh. I'm slow anyway. Okay, so take off the slow? No, that dash I don't think would have been affected by that. Gotcha. Okay. I don't think. Okay. That one's like a story one. But I'm just saying now I would only be able to move two. I wouldn't be able to get to a Galeeper. I think it's a... I think it is... Where's the card? Where's the card? Oh, you're what? right. Because it is just a normal movement. But I think based on where you were, you can move one. You moved up here and got to three. Where were you before? You were here? Either way, I can move there this turn because then I can use my okay. regular movement. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just I'll just go first and have moved there if I needed to. Gotcha. Um. So I will do my base attack for four damage because I'm strengthened. If you okay. can pull a chip from the bag for me. You got eight plus zero. Okay. So I will do four damage to that guy. Okay. Ooh. And he's number five. He seems usable. And then I will play Coordinated Assault. Oh, speaking um, of which, I'm actually going to go over here when I moved. I could have moved three. To yeah. attack for two and put even more fire into play. We just keep moving these same ones around. Uh, so I'm also attacking for two, if you can draw another one for me. Same person? Yep. Okay. I'm going to attack for two, and you do plus three. one, so three damage to it. Beautiful. Okay. Then I'm going to do the following. Um, I'm going to start with a basic attack, so I'm going to do a basic attack against this Galeeper over here. So I'm going to draw a 3 from the bag. I'm going to draw a 1. We got a plus 0. So can you do 3 damage to that Galeeper? Yes. What number, number is Number 4. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and play... I'm going to play this card over here. Bell Tolls. It's going to cost me 2. Oh, I only can do 2. Interesting. Fine, I'm still going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go down to 0. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to ping this Galeeper to death. Sure. I'm going to, so I think... He has how much health left? Mmm. He has seven. Yeah. So three. 
So great, great. I was trying to do math very no, quickly. No, no, he's eight health, eight health. One. So he's one health. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ping him. So I'm going to do two damage to two enemies. I'm going to ping this one and this one, which means I think I'm going to kill him too. How much health does he have? Only one, I believe. He only has one? Yeah. Oh, so maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll ping this one. So I'm going to ping this one and this one, because I think he's going to oh, die. Oh, no, as sorry. Well. He has three. He has three? So I'm going to ping him. So I'm going to do two damage to him and two damage to him. Okay. Okay. So if we want to do that. Do you want to draw a modifier? Oh, uh, no, this is straight up damage. Suffers. Oh, okay. Yep. So we're going to do two damage to the, to going to kill that one, and that's going to be kill one over here, and this one's going to take two damage. Oh, I just did that wrong. It's because all... he would he should be at yeah. nine now. Yep. Yeah. Number five, Gleep number five should be dead, and then this one should have he should have one health left. Okay. This Griffin should have one health left, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to this guy's going to be so annoying. If there's no just an enemy, if there's at least one just an enemy. Um, I'm right, going to go ahead, yeah, I'm going to go one, two, three over here, like so, as my movement for the action for the round. That's going to cover that, and then this bell tolls, and also he had a negative one chip to the bag. Okay. And then I'm going to flip this, okay? That's, That's my turn. Time. It was decent, but I am a little worried about just our survivability. <laughs> Although also an enemy died, but not within three, so I can't do anything with that. Right. Okay. and that was your whole turn? Yep. Okay. The Gleepers are going to move on yellow. Okay. Uh, the Briarwog. So he can't take the same action twice. So we'll draw a new one. Which will be this one. Okay. And then the Nahu is going to also do a blue attack. Okay. And so now we're going to have the following. So one at a time, the Galipa is going to jump. It's, he's, we have don't have enough of those, so he's going to move three. So he's going to move towards me. One, two, three. So you can hit me. He's going to do a three damage attack. If you want to draw an attack for me. He's going to modify and afflict. He's going to slow me and weaken me. Minus one. So it's going to be a two damage attack, which I Lovely. can deal with. I mean, that the, our health is not the issue. The issue is the fact that these this guy is going to hurt us. Yes. Now the good news is this one over here. Oh, can I do anything with that? Enemy dies, enemy dies, any turn, any... Uh, no, it's not help. Well, let's see, what's he going to be doing? He's going to be moving three, which is not enough to hit us. All enemies within three. Oh, yeah, he's going to hit us, isn't he? Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and flip this disengage card over here. So I want to be able to make it so that he can't hit both of us. One, two, three. I think three. we're not both in range three. Okay. And so but right he now, is only going to hit one of us. Uh, because you said it's range for three. Negative one, two yeah. attacked enemies, two two damage. That's not fun. What's he gonna do? So do I care about that? I'm a little concerned the fact that one of us is gonna die. Okay, we'll figure it out. So I'll stay where I am for right now. Um, I will not deal with this unless I want the other side of this. Nope, I'm cool. Okay. I'm cool. So we're gonna keep that. We're not gonna react. That means he is going to... We did the Gleeper. The Gleeper's done. We're now into the Briar Rog. The Briar is going to jump two. And as soon as it jumps two, it's going to rupture. After any Beautiful. movement you entered, suffer two damage. So he's going to die. Ah. We just popped him. Okay, Great. that was intentional. And now we have the Zagan Nahut is going to go ahead and move three. And I guess because the distance over here is going to go one, two, three, and hit me for three range, doing a two damage attack. If you want to draw a, mod, a thingy... Plus one. Plus one. That's not cool. No. That's not cool at all. I can't take a plus one. I can't take a plus one. I'm going to die. Am I allowed to use the consumable when I'm dead? We can say you used it last turn. I mean, you used it last turn. You should turn. have. Yeah, I'm going to use that health. last turn. So I'm at two health. Okay. <laughs> That's totally, totally cool. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're at two health. Jeez. And now it's back to us? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is, a, this is a problem. This is a problem, Meg. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and do this, by the way, my turn. When this enemy popped over here, an enemy dies within three, and he's not within three. Never mind. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Cool. All right. I can take my turn because it's pretty straightforward. Go for it. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. To his face. Um, and then I will play reinforce to shield myself for one if I can have a shield. And the dark element is in place, so I will also gain resist. Okay, resist. 
Resist is on, you have resist on your side, or I have resist uh, over here? And then I will gain an SP for that. Flip this card, and then I will attack him for three. Three plus, oh, put our tokens back in as well. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead. You're attacking him for three, but mm -hmm. you're doing. It's, he has one shield. I forget. Yeah, I know. But okay. He's the only one I could reach. So negative one. So, so one damage. One damage to him. Okay. We're doing it. We're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. Okay. What's the damage in this person? Mm, three. Three. So not enough to really be realistic. Okay. What shall you do? Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. The what shall I do is the problem. We're going to go ahead and... You should heal yourself. I should heal myself. The problem is if I heal myself... I think I have to heal myself. I'm healing myself. Okay, we're going to figure this out. So we're going to start with the heal. I'm going to heal myself for two. That potentially puts me in a place where I'm not totally about to die yet. Okay, four. That's going to be four over there. Um, and then I also put this good condition on me, which is helpful. Um, that could be a good thing. Okay. Also, I should be one low, I believe, because I have a flick and I took slow. So the flick should be gone, mm. but I should be one health lower. So a three over there, which is totally, totally not scary at all. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and... I have reacts, I have rallies, I have rave, and I have passing Nell. I'm going to encant, so I'll go ahead oh, sorry. and... I also removed my afflict for gaining resistance. I'm going to add a plus one token to the bag bag. Can we get a plus one token? A plus one? Yeah. Oh, to ours? Yeah. I was like, why are you doing that? Because I'm a good person. Okay, Makes plus sense. one token to the bag. And then we're going so to I'm flip this card and one other card. I'm going to flip my shield card because I need that shield in play. And we're going to go ahead and give myself two SP, which I did. I also have three movement and potentially resist. Oh, I could do resist. Let's go ahead and do resist. Can I get resist? Sure. You Although right it. now, with the note, oh, actually, no, once I can hold up, hold up. So right now, he can currently... Well, he's not going to do the same attack twice. Right. But his other attacks are less in a rush to hit all of us. So I will go ahead, seemingly. So I will go ahead and I'll do resist. Can I get resist? Mm -hmm. I'm going to remove this weaken over here. I'll keep the slow in play. That's fine. I'll deal with the slow. And we got that now. Excellent. Lovely. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And that is that. I did a card. Did I do attack? Yes, I did. I have reacts if I need them. Perfect. Okay. Enemy turns. Let's draw tar tokens. Okay. We're totally fine. We're totally fine. Totally got this. Are you about to die? No. You say that now. I have shield and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so the Galeeper is going to do this one. And the Nahu... I shouldn't put that back in. He's going to do this one. Okay. So, we're going to start with the Gleeper. The Gleeper is going to start. He, We only have one element in play. We have none of those elements in play. So he's going to pop, He's going to move three if he needed to, but he's going to pop me for three damage. So he's going to attack me for three. I will go ahead and play this over here, which is going to be two defense. And we're going to draw a token. Okay. Zero. Yeah. So I take one damage. I can work with that. Okay. Okay. Then that's it. And then he's going to put an element in play. Meg, you want to put the element to play? I just want to double check my reacts. Yes. Which, what is, where are we? Oh, uh, we're putting a, the, the, that one. I yep. see. Then we're going to have the Zagan Nehut over here is going to activate. And he is going to, there are just enemies. So he's going to do this ability here, which is going to be one damage, four damage attack, Meg. Okay. You say okay as if it's a thing that you can do. <laughs> Five damage attack, Meg. Are you dead? Yeah. You just died. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Meg's dead. <laughs> Meg's going to be down over there. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and have retreat. So you're going to pop one, two, three away and then strengthen himself. So we're going to strengthen himself over here, which is totally, totally awesome. Uh, back to my turn. <laughs> I don't stay on the board in the way, though. Uh, and that's the next round? Yeah. All right. Well, we're on round 15. I'm good. I'm good. Good, 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 I'm good. good. <laughs> I'm good. He says confidently. Mm-hmm. Totally confidently. I am going to strengthen myself, so I'm going to go ahead and play Invigorate over here. I'm going to strengthen myself, and you can put a purple in play. Uh, because I strengthen myself, I will also be able to remove resist and gain a health. So okay. I'm gaining health there. Uh, then I'm going to move backwards one. Do you one. need a strengthen token? No, no, I don't. I'm going to okay. need a second. I'm going to move backwards one. 
actually going to move over here so I can be out of range of him, hopefully. So I'm going to move backwards one so I can actually shoot the guy. Then I'm going to shoot the guy with three and a strength token and remove channel. So I'm going to go ahead and recover two. So I'm now at five health. And I'm attacking him for a four damage attack. You're doing great. Yep, let's put this one back in the bag because that's also amazing. Also, I gained one SP, which I should do. I'm going to go ahead and do... I was going to ask, but then I trusted that you did it. Nice, nice, nice. So we got a four damage attack, which became a five damage attack. Because wow. we two plus one. So we have five damage attack against him. And that's a... You killed him. Killed him. Boom. Okay, excellent. Kalip is dead. So we are doing just fine, just fine. Just this card's fine. going to flip over here. Now you just hand. have to do 29 damage. That's what I'm talking about. 29 damage. It should be a cakewalk. We're going to draw from him. Let's go ahead and draw from him. <laughs> and, and do it in, what, five turns? Uh, four. Four, even better. Orange. Okay. So orange is going to be, if there's no enemies adjacent, he's going to move two, and he's going to have a range four attack, which unfortunately is enough for him to attack me. Oh my gosh. Of course he is. And he's going to... And he's strengthened. Oh, so many things. Okay. He's attacking you for not Zero. anything extra. So it's three damage. Okay, so it's going to be straight up three is damage. Is that including a strength then? Um, nope, four damage. I'm down to one health. But it's okay, because then he's going to follow it up with slowing me. So he's going to slow me now. <laughs> and then he's going to follow that up with putting a negative two modifier in our bag. Oh, okay. Yep, totally fine. Totally fine. Although, one, two, three, four, five, an enemy dies. No, I could do that. Right, I, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do draw from death as a react. Oh, okay. If an enemy dies within three, I can gain two over here. So we're going to pop this up by two, and then flip this guard. Okay, let's just set him up for more things. When did that enemy die? That was before, when he's over here. Okay. Why? Yeah, the time-wise it works. Okay, now we do the next round. Well, I'm down to one health. I'm slowed, so I can only move one. I don't think there's a lot I can do that's really helpful, but let's pretend that there is. I believe in you. That's helpful. Believing me is helpful. You can definitely do 29 damage. I believe I can fly. I believe I now, not to make you feel sky. bad, Alex, no, uh, no, 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 no. Tom and Mutti also played this scenario, and? and I believe they won in, like, five rounds. There's no way they won in five rounds. Something like that. There's no way they won in five rounds. I'll have to look. We'll five rounds look is, like, randomly. impossible. Yeah, that does seem... Unless they were both playing two characters. I don't know. I'm not sure. I There's believe, no way they won in five rounds. Maybe they just rounds. did a quick test. I don't know, but I heard they did it very quickly. I don't believe this one bit. One bit, I say. <laughs> Okay, um, this is not great because, you know, just numbers and math. I could do that. Have, have I never have done this? It may have just been a test scenario and not this scenario. Have I never done this ability? Do that, do that, do that. That's cool. It is cool, but I don't know if it's necessarily cool enough. Okay. When any turn ends, no. Nope, Remember nope. that you're slowed as well. Oh, I know I'm slowed, Meg. I know I'm slowed. Oh, I know. We're going to do passing <laughs> Nell over here. We're going to do a movement. Movement's going to pop us over here. That's going to be great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, we're going to passing Nell. We're going to add one damage and one slow to the enemy. So we're going to make him slow. Okay, let's see how that feels. Uh, we're going to gain one SP. Can you add a damage? Uh, what? I added, I'm going to go the damage second. I'm going to do that over there. Then we're going to do one damage plus three damage. We're going to do a four damage attack. Pop this back in the bag. We're going to do a four damage attack, and we're going to draw out a... Oh, now it's a three damage attack. So three damage to him, okay. and that's our turn. Now he is slowed, and he gets to go ahead and draw his turn. All right. Okay, this is awesome. We're doing totally fine. You're at one health? Yeah, we're at one health. Do you have anything to do about nope. that? Nope. Okay. He's going to do the blue one. Blue one. The blue one, if there's no, at least there's no just enemies, he's going to move three. So he's going to move up to, I guess, two possibly, or maybe he won't move at all because he doesn't need to. He's going to go ahead and do a two damage attack, all enemies within three. Let's go ahead, let's do that, let's do that. Okay, so he does a one, one damage, damage attack. attack. One damage attack. Can you react? Nope. 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 Well, then he did exactly enough. Nope. Well. Nope. This is a special treat for you guys, because originally scenarios two and three were going to be over on the Addicts Games channel, but now it seems like scenarios one, two, and three will be over on the Addicts Games channel. Possibly. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get them next time. I'll have a link down below to the Addicts Games channel where there'll be more content, including I want to see Mutti and, and Tom <laughs> beating this scenario in five turns. I'll check the message after. I'll see. There's not a chance. So what did you think? Did you have fun? Yes, absolutely. This this is this is so the last time I dove into Rove, they had you had, they they you had a singular like mm -hmm. hair's like bunch of rovers, here's mm -hmm. a bunch of enemies, run around and kill people. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Ultimately, games like Gloomhaven do devolve down to run around and kill people. And that was more just to show off the mechanics yeah. and not so much uh, how the game plays story-wise. 
Um, I loved, I knew that surprise was coming. Yeah. This one actually had terrain, which is already, uh, uh, having a few, mm -hmm. even just having a little bit of terrain, already I enjoy more. It had the iterative process of discovery as you walked from one map tile to another. Mm -hmm. It had those cars that had things and events happening around it, which I appreciated. And the fact that it's not purely sequential, mm -hmm. it's not a direct linear one, two, three, four, rather it's, hey, one, two, and three can happen in any order. Sure, the last thing happened to be, you know, has to happen in order, so that all worked well. Um, I think we definitely missed a few things, uh, you know, considering the fact that, like, the briar wogs, there are a few times we didn't take damage yeah. all next to it yeah. uh, the grove tender should have had shield, shield. Yeah. so like i don't know the I'm, and we're playing two character game i don't yeah. yet know how balanced it is around two versus three versus four mm -hmm. uh, i appreciated some of the nuances of the enemies the nectari swarm in particular the idea that they only yeah. attack the person who's attacking yeah. them and what's one of the i nice love that things. they die when they sting you yeah that's a and that, that's a cool concept they have mm -hmm. a final sting concept mm -hmm. and i don't know how this really plays out in other decks but i'm curious are the nectari swarm and other pages do they always have that ability or is it always like because of the way you have the enemy set up on pages you kind of took that whole flipbook concept and applied it to the pages as well yes which does mean that you have the ability to have a galloper that generally ha operates a certain way but has specific rules in certain scenarios mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i wonder if that's going to be done or utilized like again the tower swarm only attack the people that attack the hive mm -hmm. but that's a rule here which means that's a rule that only is relevant if there is a hive right are there is right. there always a hive when there's an tower swarm I don't know. We'll find Stay out. Stay tuned to find out. Uh, but yeah, that iterative process, I like the process of having things pivot and turn. Obviously, you can't do it every single scenario or it's not really a surprise so much as just a process. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this felt more like a story. This felt more like an adventure. Uh, I still, my biggest thing with Rove is still the fact that I want to see the characters upgrade. I want to build my own cards. I want to see how that happens over. And you have a specific character arc where characters can evolve into new character types as mm -hmm. you play, which is a whole new concept that I want to see how that plays and applies. I want to see how I can build my character, how I can change their default stat items and whatnot. One of the biggest challenges is the fact that you have the consistency of certain abilities, but that's paired off against the fact that it's almost a little boring. You always have a three damage attack. Mm -hmm. I want to see mm -hmm. the weapons and the gear and all those things. So there's still there's still stuff that I want to see as the game evolves, but this is already a significant jump forward from the last time I played it. Great. I'm glad yeah. you enjoyed it. And that's scenario one. Two and three, we died. Yeah. We died. There's that. <laughs> That's it. That's basically Rove. Uh, yeah, we'll have a link down below to the Alex Games channel. You can check out more content on this if or when or however when it goes up. Mm -hmm. And past that, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Morgan Co. And I'm Professor Meg. Thanks for watching. And there'll be a link to the Kickstarter. That too. There'll be a link to the Kickstarter down below yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> In any case, until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.